All right. Hey, I think we got all the uh, the bugs worked out before we went on air today. Uh, <laughs> and Lantern helped develop the internet, and he couldn't get a stable internet connection for some reason. Go figure. Yay, which we're going to talk about tonight a little bit, too. I think we're going to dive into that, because I never really asked him how he did all the, the Unix and, and TCPIC and all the stuff to help create the internet, unlike Al Gore, who I don't think did anything. But anyways, uh, welcome, Roman Coke Knight. I am got... Um, Diet 7-Up and this stuff again, so I'm good to go. Landon, what you got for us? What are you drinking? Well, I'm going to start with the Costa Brown 116 Russian River Chardonnay, their 2018 new release, and it's a really nice uh, a Chardonnay, mm -hmm. and it's got really notes of tangerine in it, which I've never had in a, in a, in a Chardonnay. Mm. So nice, nice yellow thing. So cheers yeah. to everyone. Cheers. That looks good, actually. You can't see mine because it's in a green cup, but it's there. Cheers. God's auditor heard me pour it before we started. <laughs> I could tell it was in a plastic bottle. Yeah. Those who are asking for links, check your email because you already got them. <laughs> Pay attention. I couldn't uh, send them out via uh, Twitter because Twitter's not working too well right now. It's not working for links. I can't DM anything. It, it's like an internal server problem. So I already sent them out via other means like email and by Facebook. So check there. But anyways, Lawrence, what do you got? Oh, I am drinking, you know, my absolute favorite Captain Morgan's Cannon Blast. Ah, yeah. Uh, delicious. Oh, you pirate whore. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, you guys ought to get all the good stuff. I get, I mean, this is mediocre. I mean, it's not bad. It's a blended whiskey. What is it? It's just called La Cadena Canadian Blended Whiskey. Real cheap. Okay. Um, I read the ratings on it. It seemed okay though, but I mean, it's nothing that I would drink. Straight, do you like? Really. Do you like it? Eh, it's mixed, okay, for fifteen bucks a gallon or so. <laughs> Why do you go wrong? <laughs> I saved the Glen Live at twelve for you know when it when I have something important to do. <laughs> have you guys ever had uh, a little bit of the bubbly? Anyone get that reference? <laughs> yeah, I got that reference. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> well, it's delicious. Brandon, what Speaking do you got? Which, what are you drinking? I just, I waddle. Oh, you such unspecial. Really? Oh, whatever. Paul, what do you got? <laughs> I know, man. I've got, <laughs> I've got Desperados beer, uh, flavored with tequila. Whoa, <laughs> damn! You ain't messing around tonight. Nah. And, and God's honor, I know what he's got. He's got a Glenlivet 14 with a beer chaser. <laughs> yeah, a lovely Glenlivet 14 single malt cognac cask that can only be honored by uh, Budweiser. Jesus Christ, what am I doing with my life? What are you doing? It's, that's, that's an interesting mix. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if well, I'd go for that. I can't drink mixed scotch and beer. It wasn't 100% intentional. It was somewhat out of necessity, but here we go. And then we have the lovely Manya. What's up? Oh, what's up, Hello, girl? Everybody. Hello, Manya. Hey, what's up? Hi. What are you drinking? How is everyone? Um, I'm drinking the same thing as last time. That's my um, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. That's the, so yeah, I, I was telling favorite. I was telling her Pinot Noir. I use I drink that stuff a little chilled. Um, it's supposed to be either like room temperature or chilled, isn't it? Uh, sommelier Landon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You usually you you well you're, if you're talking about you're talking about a Pinot Noir. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to be really chilled. Just it can be room low, temperature. slightly lower than room temperature. You don't want to, you don't you don't want to be warm, right? You don't yeah. want to heat it, right? Yeah, I don't like and, warm. I did and chill it this warm. time. I put it on the fridge, um, on the door, and um, yeah, let's see how it tastes like yeah. today. But 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 that's a that's a rosé. That was the that was the rosé. It's like it's a slight rosé. Is that correct? It looks like a rosé or blush kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And and so and so that kind of that kind of pinot noir. So, so pinot noir no rosé. It was just a straight pinot noir. You know, like 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 this sort of thing. Um, then, then yes, uh, you wouldn't want it, but that one you want to chill down a little, a little bit, maybe, maybe, or I say 13 degrees, something like that. Celsius. I, I don't know what the temperature was of the fridge. I don't care. It Usually nice. fridges are, are, are colder, but it's whatever you enjoy. She's new to alcohol. It's like, I'll take what I can get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're teaching her. She's come so, yeah, but, so far. Yeah. 
So anyways, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's dive into that. The heck with the, the, well, it is science, I guess. I mean, it's computer science, so I guess this qualifies. But so Landon, tell us a, a, about your history of developing or helping to develop some of the, the internet protocol, protocols like TCP IP and uh, well, I don't, whether the hashtag stuff or whether the Unix stuff you did. I, oh, it, 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 well, actually, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a TCP IP developer, but uh, per, per se, um, you know, my, my work with, with networks and internet goes back to, um, our farm. One of the things about that also was, was a, uh, an employee of Pacific telephone was a division at and And we had on our farm, a, uh, ATT terminal that he used to connect into the, to the switch. And so we were taught as children, rather than dialing a number on the telephone, to use the computer terminal to go through the telephone system. So it might be, it, 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 it's like, you might say it's phone freaking, but we were actually legitimately doing stuff. Right? Yeah, I remember the phone, you, phone freak was like 2600 hertz when you had a specific um, tone, it would get you into the root of the phone and you can dial out from that, right? Yeah, well, it had, it had inbound, uh, the signals were inbound. Um, that is, that is, you heard, like when you were on a pay phone and you're putting money in. It made a tone. You'd hear that. You hear the beep told, and that's what the operator used initially to determine that you're putting coin money, you know, kind of money you're putting in. Later on, it became, became automated, and they found that people found that they, they could emit tones, and one of them was a Captain Crunch whistle. That I remember that. In. Yep. The Captain then, Crunch then, whistle. Then, now, now here's, that, here's what I want to know is, <laughs> who's the first person to try that out and go, holy crap, I, I, I discovered this? Um, I mean, why, and why would they? Unless they thought to themselves, okay, this sounds very similar to that tone, but I mean, who thinks of these things, right? Well, people, people were exploring the 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 uh, Bell Bell system, uh, you know, for for many many years. It was it's a it's sort of a pastime of of phone hobbyists, and so monitoring, listening on lines, and so forth, and hearing these tones, um, people found you know that 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 initially the the protocol for doing things was was tone based and 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 click based um and so like with your receiver you could go and click up and down your receiver did, 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 if you did it in the right pulse and and dial numbers for example um and so i guess someone heard that then they heard a, a whistle and said hey that sounds like that tone and they tried it and found that it worked but um so so a long time user using of the legit user of the arpit as well um and so I was there when they switched over from a protocol to NTP or network transfer protocol to TCP uh, protocol. That was a that was a big big sort of change over on on the internet. Um, but my development was more on on stuff relating to Unix, which was sort of the root of 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 many of the of the uh, uh, switches in in the the system, the Bell systems, or it was developed by 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 AT and T um, early on in the standard. Uh, things like for example the weight the weight PID uh, system call in, in Unix, which was in Linux. Um, some of the early uh, you know, uh, it was also your early uh, BSD developer as well. Certainly not one of the main ones. I, I was not one of the main things that was like Kirk McCusick, Mike Carroll, Bill Joy, those sorts of people. But I had I had a hand in it, and uh, certainly was also an active user on the on the then on the internet. Um, I, I I tell you what I tell you what let's play a little game. No cheating. I trust you people. I don't know why. Manya, not so much. But the rest of you, I, tr I trust. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play a little game here. I'm, I'm going to read the description, and you tell me the name of the color freaking box. Okay? Here we go. Okay. First one. Tone generator emitted a 2600 hertz tone to disconnect a long distance call while retaining control of the trunk, then generated multi frequency tones to make another toll call, which was not detected properly by building equipment. Obsolete as it relied on use of in band signaling and no longer used in signaling system five. What color box was that? What was that called? 42. It's a color. Color. 42. You know what a color is? Did well, you not pass the kindergarten? Do you, do you not remember your primary colors? 42. 12. These oh, are not so colors. I... These are numbers. <laughs> Clean. This is the most common mm -hmm. box for freaking. Do I got to ask Blue. the live chat? They're smarter than you. Okay. Man, gee. Boulinair got it right, but I think Landon said it first, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> All right. No cheating, by the way, people. Don't be looking this up. All right. A resistor 
bypassed with the capacitor in place in series with the line to limit DC current on received calls. On some mechanically, mechanical relay switching systems, separate relays were used to stop ringing on inbound calls and to start billing timers. The blank box was intended to trip one, but not both relays, allowing ringing to stop but not showing the call is answered for building purposes. Obsolete with the replacement of mechanical relay exchanges by electronic switching systems. Go. Black. All right, Black. gods. Was that a guess? Black. That was a no, shot I mean, I, mark, but it seemed the most correct. I just right. had to remember it. I, so, so <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've seen the device. Have you um, ever make one? No, it was, it was used. There, there actually was legitimate use of it for diagnostic purposes. Well, obviously, so we had one at our house that was that was that was black, and I just remember the Captain Crunch ritual from Captain Crunch because of the colors of the cereal. I have this one: tone generator emitted an automatic coin to toll service to tone pairs to fifteen hundred hertz and twenty two hundred hertz to signal coins dropping into a payphone. Obsolete. Yellow. Red. Who said red? Blue. Me. You got it, Paul. I did. Mm. It was a red box. I right. hey. It's harder, but it's like I said, I don't even know what we're talking about. T freaking, we're talking about freaking. There used to be a magazine on this 2600 hertz magazine. This was all, yep. yeah, yep. Tone generator, way, way, way back when, right? Tone generator emits coin accept, coin return, ringback tones at the remote end of an automatic coin toll service payphone call. Obsolete is these tone control phone calls de designed to rely on manual operate assistance for paid phone call yes. long distance calls. That that's the operator listing and, and then yes. So what color what color yeah. is that box? That was um, that was a. Oh wait a minute wait wait no, you're talking about that thing. Tone generator that emits coin accept. Yeah, coin... Well, that that was that was. I thought that was black. Just name off all the colors you can think of. You'll eventually get it right. <laughs> was it green? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. This is going to be really hard. This is expert level. Even Land is going to be like, I've never heard of it. Okay, ready? Microphone and amplifier coupled inductively to pay phones where the handset microphone and just the microphone was disabled until a coin was inserted. And, quote, Opaque box was a variant which included a keypad. Obsolete as specific, obsolete as was specific to rarely used postpone coin phone design, which is no longer deployed. So, well, there were there were two. There was, there was a light gray, and there was a, a brown. These were device. neither. Well, what do we have left? I'll give you a hint. It's not technically. Orange. It's not. It's not actually the Yellow. color. Well, clear. Well, there clear. Yes. There yes. Who said that? Who said clear? Fuck. I said clear. You cheated. You, oh, I first, know you cheated. No, 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 no. The first, the first ones were were also had it with bake light, and that's not clear. Well, this is what it says: clear box. Did he I cheat, just... or did he get that fair and square? You'll never know. I think he cheated. I don't trust him. Anybody with long hair, man, <laughs> can't trust those long hair, freaky hippie people. <laughs> All right. How about this one? Telephone installer's test handset, a standard telephone set on which a pl uh, the plug was, had been replaced with a pair of alligator clips. This one I might red. have remembered. Red. Bullander gets all these right, but I think he's cheating. Orange. Too. Nope, nope, nope. Blue, nope, yellow, nope. Ah! <laughs> now, I do remember it being red. Well, I'll give you a hint. Um, uh, think, uh, sand, think of like earth tones. Or skin tones. Taupe. Tan? Kind of, kind of almost like taupe. <laughs> Look, uh, ready? Beige. Beige. Yes, God's Auditor. Wow, Holy on shit. the money. Man, you guys make some killer interior design. Where's Chess? She knows all these color stuff. Uh, I, I think, no, I think that's wrong because it came in a variety of colors, but I know that 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 red was a common. Well, th these are just what it says. Um, no, Maki, it's not chartreuse, but that was a good guess. All right. Um, here we go. This was Australians out there. In Australia, there was a software program based on the Commodore Amiga 500 personal computer called Blank Box, which was used for freaking. It used CCITT number 5 R2 tones to manipulate the phone system in Australia in a way, similar way to blue boxing. In other countries, Blank Box can be referred to as portable DTMF tone dial keypad with a speaker 
with speaker that which was used to access an answering machine to hear your message when you're away from home and also could be used on the PBX phone system that required tone dialing and used to generate tones if the telephone is rotary dial or his keypad is locked. So which was an Australian box? Oh, I, I know this. Black. Upside down red. <laughs> so close. Nope. And white. Yes. Hmm. White box. All right, four more to go. Now, I think that's also wrong, too. They're probably all wrong. Tone <laughs> I dial landed on this. Tone dial keypad with four extra buttons, A, B, C, and D, formerly used to, in to indicate prior priority on military Audubon calls. Hmm. Olive drab green. Nope. <laughs> Everything in the military is olive drab. This was hard. Think, uh, think of like a um, precious mineral color. This is not... Silver? Yes. Silver! Right. Oh, I was going to say turquoise. <laughs> I was going to say gold. <laughs> All right. Three more to go. That one I didn't know. AC ringing current generator connected directly to a telephone to make the phone ring. Fucking what? <laughs> AC, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's... AC ringing current generator connected directly to a telephone to make that phone ring. Yeah, so, so so the bell went ding yeah. ding 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 ding. Yeah. yeah, it was it was the current for for that. That's said. That was a go to line because you got you had three things go from for for tip and ring, um, which make the current go across for the bell to ring. What kind of what kind of box color was it? Orange, not hot pink. <laughs> Is it regular pink? Sweet Heathen, look in your inbox. I gave the link. Oh, wait. It's Twitter. It didn't work, did it? Ah! No, did, you see the, did you see the um, chat? Sweet Heathen said, Manya, tell Steve he's dead to me. Yeah, oh. I get that a lot. <laughs> not, oh, the, burn. not the first time, won't be the last. No, nah, I don't know what's up with Twitter. It's not, it's not sending through my messages. As a matter of fact, the other day on the shills, I legit didn't get Dick Dawson's invite. In like two hours after it was over. And I Bulls sent me an invitation that I got like 7.38 p.m. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Holy it, crap. It, yeah, Twitter's been really odd. Um, Orange, uh, wait, I just gave the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. <laughs> They've been very good. Thank you, guess. <laughs> Expert uh, level. Sweet. Yeah, Three. orange. Or I'm winning. <laughs> we'll call that a free spot. Orange box. Caller ID shift. Free shift. Caller ID free frequency shifting keyboard generator. Okay, uh, this was the hardest one. A combination of magenta box and orange box. So what do you get when you mix magenta and orange? Car horn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hypothetical yep, one it. too. This is not even a. I don't know if it exists. Oh, Ready? Mm. Magenta orange. It's close. Magenta it's one. close. It's very similar. It's a brilliant. Uh, it's a. It's a brilliant red kind of color. Scarlet. Right. Very close to scarlet. It's also known as scarlet. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I mean, Maroon? It, it is scarlet, but vermilion. Vermilion. Is vermilion. What we're for. Vermilion or scarlet red. Yeah, it's a scarlet color, but it's called a the color of vermilion a box. If there's something wrong I mean, with the Twitter messages, I'm trying to check my Twitter messages. They are not loaded I, for some reason. I, did you think I was yeah. lying to you just because I got long hair? No. <laughs> yes. Huh? Okay. Let's see if I can message I, Dave on Facebook. I keep telling you, people no. don't trust the long hair people, man. You know. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's not work. <laughs> Twitter's not working very well. Yeah, this, I don't know what's going on with it. It's somebody's, been wonky since morning. Somebody's best is hot pink every time, and they never got one right because none of them happen to be hot pink. <laughs> By the way, we're going, we're going for a little broke today. I'm, I'm switching to grappa. Oh, nice. That is refill, oh, too. Oh, grappa. Jesus. Yeah. Come on, Deepest. Grappa will burn you. Yeah, see, sweet to color theory. So she has like 10 different colors for brown, right? Mobs. <laughs> taupe. <laughs> you know, sepia I, I mean it's like uh, us guys we're like we, we have like blue girls have like seafoam green turquoise you know um, sky blue ocean blue light blue dark blue medium blue we have blue. neon blue yeah 
<laughs> See, I, that's why it's like Chess just like drawings and stuff. Like she asked me today what kind of color I wanted for something. And instead of picking some weird color, I'm just like, gray. And it came out wonderful. See, I didn't have to spend years learning all these different weird colors or, or how to do art. You know? Well, yeah, whatever she's planning, I saw a glimpse of it. Yeah. It's, it's good, right? Cool. Yeah, it's good to Yeah, me. it's so cute and cool at the same time. Yeah, I, I won't say more. I'll just shut up. Yeah. This is serious. <laughs> Hello, how What's are you up? doing? What's up? Hello, Manya. I saw you sneak in. How are you? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm all right. You, you drinking good already? I've got coffee. Yeah. That's all I got. I can't drink. Well, I'm I was boring. told off last time for drinking coffee, so I'm like, I better Nobody make sure. Nobody told right. you that. You can drink anything. And I can get a little bit of that. We're not going to force you. No. Anyways, that was fun. So go back to like Landon's uh, expertise in the uh, development of the internet. So what what do you think your biggest contribution was? Uh, well, one big contribution was probably Net News. Um, I did a lot of development on on INN. So Net News was sort of the precursor to Google Groups and kind of precursor to stuff like Reddit and so forth. Oh, I use Google uh, Groups. Yeah. Uh, also a hash function is called, there's a, there's a fun hash function called FNV for Fowler, Fowler, no vo. Um, so, so Glenn Fowler, Landon Noel, uh, Fong Vo were the three people we, we developed and FNV is, is widely used. Um, a lot of stuff in, in, uh, for example, Twitter and, and it's indexing of stuff is done by FNV hashes. Um, and also FNV hash is used a lot in things like network file systems and so forth. So it's a, it's meant to be a very low cost, but high dispersion uh, system. And that was an algorithm. So, yep. so what, what did you actually have to do to optimize it? Cause the hash, the, the Fowler hash thing had already been in existence, right? You just optimized it, right? No. Yeah. I mean, we, we, I, oh, you I created it. Most of it. Yep. Oh, I thought you, it. I thought you but optimized it. So, so it was FNV was a, was a hash that was developed purposely. So it couldn't be patented. Um, we needed to have an efficient way of having a large collection of stuff and be able to select a a, a, a subset of it in, is, is what or or do do a do a reduction a mean to one reduction, and we wanted to do it very efficiently. So we developed it across three of us in such a way that it couldn't be patented, and it was then re released to the public and it's wide, widely widely used. Um, but it, it it required number theory and uh, knowing how to you know knowing about additive properties and shift in properties and multiplication properties and primes and rings and that sort of thing. Landon, I'm proud of you. Oh, well, thank you. I, I wait, <laughs> by the way, is this a, the, the people should just definitely subscribe to Milwaukee atheists. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be on their show. They're going to yes. make me read the Bible. Yes, absolutely. On, on, <laughs> on, on, on zombie Jesus day. <laughs> so Bull Bullinator wants to know if you know Paul Vixie. Oh Yes. Definitely. Yes, definitely. Paul Vixie is a very a fun, fun guy. Right? And we did a lot of stuff on early Usenet and um, also you know, did some contributing to some of the stuff in, uh, in Bind DNS. Um, yeah, but, but Paul Vixie is a, one of the main, one of the main people that did stuff on, on DNS. Stuff that looks, basically internet directories were looking up uh, IP addresses given host names. So what, what does, I mean, Basically, TCP/IP. What kind of? What is the actual protocol? What does it actually do? It it attempts. It basically, it's a it's a two way. Uh, it's 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 a two way protocol. So you can both send and receive. And what I do is I send you some data, and I wait for you to tell me you have that data. And so it's a it's meant to be trying to do a guaranteed delivery. It's not simply throw stuff out there, and if they get it, fine. If not, who cares? It's a a way where I hold on to the buffer, I send you some information, and then you, when you send me something, you say, "Oh, by the way, I got bytes forty to seventy-nine." So then I can I can say, "I know you have it," and so I can take it out of my buffer. If it turns out you 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 didn't acknowledge those bytes, I'll send them again, saying, "Here's a redread submission." Right? Now um, is that is that using so, a is that using a cyclic redundancy or a CRC check, or is that using a checksum? Well, there, there are there are there are uh, you know. Uh, uh, there's seats on the on the TCP payloads as well, uh -huh. but um, 
but the but the byte stream when when I acknowledge your data you sent me, I will also tell you um, I will tell you um, by saying you data saying by the way I got your byte 150 to 175. So but how so does it tell? How do you know if it's, it's the correct data though? Um, because you also the, the the packets are also have have uh, checksum. So okay, it's so possible it that it could okay. be corrupt corrupted. Yeah. And and it, and if if you're really it's really really important, then you could do uh, you know use use cryptography to try and 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 give a higher degree of of, of certainty that the the data was was guaranteed delivery. Yeah, because there's, so there's different levels of there's different levels of protocols where you would have in cryptography that you could check um yeah. and double check and make sure that what is being sent was what was received and then you have a way to send sure. it back to them right okay I, and, there, and there's initiation we, when we, we set up the connection um you know i i send you an act using uh, you, acknowledge you, you acknowledge that yeah and then and then there's a send act going back so it's a three-way handshake to begin the the connection um there's also a teardown uh process and and so tcpip you connect to someone's ip address and port um, and then there's well-known ports for for things like mail and and uh, you know things things like you know time and so forth um, or you know name surface. All the time use usually usually was done with UDP. So UDP is a thing where you just fling packets out and and if they get it they do. If they don't they don't. And you let the application figure out what's missing. TCP was trying to give a transport. So so TCP is transport control protocol trying to give a give a give a transport so that I can send you something and I have a pretty high degree of reliability. That you've received it, you could add have a man in the middle attack where they try to corrupt it, and if they corrupt it and also you know fix the fix the checksum, um, then you can have people who who can corrupt the stream. Um, Inter- they can intercept the data and actually send some false damn data to somebody else, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I remember I remember doing a lot of stuff uh, having to do with super, like for example, when you're doing FTP, FTP had to be a certain port that you had to dial up for. Right. Yeah, file tra- for direct file transfer protocol. Yeah, and and FTP would also I mean you'd have a TCP connection between you, and then your FTP port you'd say, hey, I want to send you a port, and you know send you a file, and you would send back on this thing, say, well send it to this port and this address. So you'd open up another connection, and then use that connection to then send a file, and be chatting back, you know, chat back and forth about stuff, and you say I received it. So it tries to be tries to do an acknowledgement. I mean that's sort of at the high level what it was meant to yeah and that's one of the things mm-hmm. that people should check on a firewall make sure that you have if your ports or unused ports should be closed there's a there used to be something and i don't have install up called shields up it was put out a long time ago by um uh, was it grc or i remember the company put it up but, but shields up you could test all your ports and you could see if they're open um for any kind of uh, vulnerabilities a uh, coas of a 10,000 won. Speaking of computers, we've been hearing things about quantum computing since like decades ago, but haven't seen anything yet. When will we ever get to see them before we die? Well, New York actually has an operational quantum computer. You can actually see it online. You can actually even send it. You can actually send it instructions if you know quantum programming. Uh, very simple quantum programming. You can actually send it. It'll put it in a queue, and their quantum computer will do the calculations for you. So but we do have them, but they're very, very yeah. They're they're very very rudimentary and and they they really can't even exceed what a human can do in their own mind, let alone a computer right now. But the there are research there. projects. There's a potential there, and there's there's been you know uh, a number of false claims and stuff. But um, it's it's an important area of research, uh, oh. and uh, it may be like I I think we'll have fusion, commercial fusion power before we have commercial. Well, that was supposed to be by twenty twenty three or something. Yeah, give or take. <laughs> yeah, well, like I looked into quantum computing one time, just for the how to do the quantum construction sets, and it was beyond my ability. Um, I didn't understand the programming because you got to think in qubits. You got to think of instead of just being binary or being off and on. You have off on, or both, or neither. <laughs> I think so. I mean, mm-hmm. th- those are weird to think of when you're trying to think of okay, what state is the system in? And then obviously the complexity with the quantum Needful. computer is is keeping it cool enough where you don't lose the um, you, you don't lose the state of the system, right? Because at room temperature, those quantum states will you'll, you'll lose your cohesion, right? Your deco- what the hell is neither when the options are on, off, or both? I don't What's, know. It's, it's quantum superposition. Same thing as both, I guess. I don't know. Is it, depends, is it neither? I don't know. I think it's just, is, is it just on, off, or neither? Depends on the spin of the proton or electron. 
it, it has to do with, I mean, yeah. it depends on how you're encoding information, but it, but you can mm. have superpositions where they're both or a mix of the two. Mm. Quantum is weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to explain Show that with propositions both. today that yeah. there's certain propositions and certain logics where it's not true or false. It's what's called a truth gap, a value, yeah. truth value gap. And so. Steve. Yeah. Steve. So that was Chinish. Kitty, Kitty said English. I don't know. People talk over each other. Can't hear anything. What? Sweet's going to kill Hi, you, Steve. Sweet's in this chat. She's oh. telling you to let her in. You uh, sent one, her the two, YouTube three, link, four, not five, the link six, to seven, the thing. Eight, nine, ten. Oh. Uh, That's why she was like, Steve's death to make you die. Are you, are you filled up, Steve? <laughs> I do believe I am. Okay. Uh, That's all right. I'll drop that. Uh, it's fine. I can go. I've got a fire going outside i just okay fine just fucking hi. ignore me then whatever see if i give a shit hi chess this is how she's on hi uh, i said hi hello hello all right who's turning <laughs> ask, got, go ahead and ask questions i got beer but, mm. but anyway so so yeah the early early unix computers were developed in, in bell labs so i had access to uh bell labs computers again through the so the telephone company network. And so my first logins uh, and first you know, accounts were back in 1974. And, and we would dial up, use the telephone system from, from Hayward, California and connect all the way to Murray Hill, New Jersey. I had to do a station to station call. But through the using the phone system, it was it was free because we were, you know, telephone company employees. And, and so I I regularly work with your know, people like Dennis Ritchie, and Brian Kernigan and and those 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 folks and really nice 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 folks there and I had a you know early you early early user of 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 Unix um, and that influenced me a lot in my other computer systems um, it, was, it was very you know because I was it's a very powerful way of of, of uh -huh, using snuck in so sweet can't get in <laughs> <laughs> wow oh. cut, just cut her off the knee man hope you're you doing fuck. well sir. I can leave if sweet, if sweet Hunter comes in. I can leave. Sweet, we can I can leave. I'll, 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 I'll go because I've got shit going on anyway. I do want to say hi to Bull and shit, and I do want to ask what you guys thought of the super secret goblin project that I'm working on. Yeah, we talked about earlier. Oh, Steve, that was so awesome. Steve That's doesn't awesome. know what I'm actually doing. I have no idea what she's doing. Ah, but I talked oh, about so it before you came in. I know. I know, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's a super secret project. Sweet, sweet knows what it is. Manya knows what it is. The girls, the girls know what it is. That, you know, that's some that's some kind of democracy, patriarchal oh, bullshit. Yeah. 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 Matriarchy. Uh, to... They're making decisions without you, man. They, yeah, they've, done, to... they've done that my entire life. Okay. <laughs> it's as if they have autonomy, right? <laughs> Wasn't they been matriarchy? <laughs> It's my body, their choice. Yes, I think it is. <laughs> There's like a, the best thing is actually interesting enough. Um, the goblin, there was a goblin version of Steve before there was a goblin version of me. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely like old, 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 but it came from when I did like some non sequitur fan art and, and uh, Steve kind of looked goblin-y and I'm going to, and then I was just like, I'm turning Steve into a goblin. That's just happening now. So, <laughs> so goblin Steve actually existed before my goblin did. Nice. Not, nice. not, in, not in the iteration that it is now, but once upon mm -hmm. a time, uh, but it's a, this is a super hilarious secret project that's going to take me months to complete. And maybe by the time I'm done, we'll have the show back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we still need more I am non sec video clips? If people want them, yes, then I'm on in. We've basically mine. gotten, yeah, we've basically got until we get the show back. So, you know, whatever. The more, the better, I guess, you know. Can, can I do my nude? Well, yeah, we are expecting that. Yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Please I thought do, they were all actually. supposed to be new. <laughs> it, I'll ask nicely. <laughs> mm. Boolinator, what do you got to add? You're a computer dude. He's a he's a uh, he's a god king. Steve is a god king. Bool. <laughs> computer. Bool's having trouble. He mic. keeps dropping in and out. Mm. Yeah, I think he's mm, having microphone like, problems. Technical he's just playing you know so that he, sweet can't get in. He's no, he's so spoiled with <laughs> VMix, he doesn't remember how to do a hangout any longer. <laughs> so, I'll give Ouch. you, I'll give you guys a hint. 
I've done, I've drawn what five goblins, five goblins, and I have a bunch of keyframes, which may or may not give away a little bit of what I'm doing. And I've mm. drawn non sequitur as a castle, and I've got mm. three oh. little piggies. This is gonna be some goblin homoerotic oh. stuff, isn't it? Oink oink oink. <laughs> <laughs> who's the big? Who, I wonder. I wonder who's the big bad wolf. Those are the real <laughs> questions. The Steinbuch. <laughs> Three piggies may or may not get hit by a car being driven by an oddly tall goblin wearing a paper bag on his head. <laughs> did, did you did you see the Lego thing? The, right. the rocket yeah, and the car. Lego, I saw that Lego thing on that Facebook. That was brilliant. I want I want one of my own now. Oh my god, I'm that not, was too brilliant. I couldn't believe that the talent. We've got a we've got to like make our own like one for Steve. Now they're like Reds already has one. We need one for Sweet and Money. Like everybody needs like. A, a Lego set, no. and then we just need to get like one like table that's got all the sets on it. That'd be so... <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, that that's pretty pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> I the, love the, the pigs made it. It's a little. Oh, so you thought it was the pigs? I thought the bucket on the head made it. <laughs> nah, the pigs, man. That's so there's awesome. like. So for anybody who hasn't seen it, it's a Lego set and it's it's supposed to be Red's rhetoric and it's got a um it's got a um rocket ship and then it's got a totaled car so it's like missing pieces and then there's three pigs and a tow truck and then a little guy holding a big camera pointed at the rocket with a bucket on his head. <laughs> nice. Oh that's so awesome. Oh. Sweet. All right. Okay, now I've discovered a whole new world of books on eBay, and I'm just like, ah. you, you, you never read books before? I have, but not the part, like, it's Seven, been a hard eight, task looking for particular books, you know? They're so expensive here in New Zealand. Like, back home, like, you would get them cheap, like, for $5. And the second hand were, like, even cheaper, like, 60% of the I like so books, but they're hard, to, they're hard to keep. They're hard to keep around because, you know, you move okay. and... Man, you should see something. like you just take them with you. One of my Steve. rooms is like full of books, like me and my brother's books together. Like um, when we were doing our bachelors, so my father has like kept all of them. He's not given away any of them, so he's just kept them. And it's so awesome going back home every time and just like grabbing them and just having a look at them. Yeah. I guess I should probably send this to Bull, shouldn't I? Yes, he he well. He, He's part of it, isn't it? So. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. I will send. I'll send it to Bool. Bool, I'm sending it in our super secret non sequitur show chat. Mani and I still need to do our crystal radio hangout, and what Landa can join too. And somebody else had a radio communication op license. I thought was going to join too. Hey, I was in. I was in radio for like a year, and then I dropped out. Radio. Wow. Like I, build, listen, like I, building I used radios? to listen to the radio. No, not building no. radios, like radio broadcasting no. in college. No, we wanted to like explain how like a, a simple AM radio works like with a germanium diode detector, RC circuit. Oh, nice. You know, how to, how to know figure out true. wavelengths, how to figure out just basic electronic stuff. I think that, 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 that would be sounds fun. Like, that sounds like nerd stuff. She's got a master's degree. Maybe she should remember that kind of stuff. I don't know. Yes. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, but yeah, she actually can come in. I'm sure she's got the like she's got it somewhere in her head i'm very sure <laughs> somewhere oh, surprise, girl. You'll be very all right let's, you start let's, let's play let's play <laughs> test electronics <laughs> knowledge can, can we not <laughs> yeah actually <laughs> name, Wait, name name a quad operational amplifier do 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 your mom <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't that operational <laughs> Just at least once I, when I was born or conceived. <laughs> okay, so Landa doesn't know. Landa so, could, Landa so, so, so blue, blue is is what resistor color? I mean, what, 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 what resistor value? Red, red yeah. orange, yellow, blue. So red. Oh orange, yeah, there are many values. Uh, oh damn it! Four? I was so bad at that. Damn it! It's red, red orange, red yellow, blue, blue, green, yeah. violet. Um, <laughs> With silver, wait, 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 red, orange, yellow, yes. blue, green, brown, black, silver wow. is a, well, wait, no, no band is, is, is 5% tolerance, silver is 10% tolerance, and gold is 20% tolerance? 
Uh, close? No, gold. Uh, gold is, no, no. no, the other way around. No. Gold is 5%. No. Gold is yes. 5%. Zero, and 20% is no band. Uh, or, or more than 10. Or, or more than 10. Blue. Okay. So blue is, is, is what? It's a max, right? Blue has the max. Blue has the max. Is, no. four, is it four? No, no, no. Green. No. Sorry, no. green. thousand. Because you're you're you 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 were missing you you didn't. I'm saying colors, you didn't like, you didn't talk about black and brown. Well, I just said black and brown at the end. You started you started with red. So 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 blue is what number? Uh, for a multiplier, red, red, orange, yellow, blue. Isn't a multiplier four? No. God damn. That's it. yellow. That's yellow. Six. Hi, sweet. How you doing? Hey, Gabo. This is sweet. Sweet. What is what is blue? What's the multiplier for blue? Because I I would have a little chart for it because. Um, six, that's beyond even. That's not even as far as colors go. Oh, six? That's, go with six. Like, talking about something else. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's correct. Go with correct. six, sweet. Go with six. <laughs> say blue, is, blue is six. six. Now, now, if, now, 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 here's something. If if blue is in the is in the tolerance band, what is your tolerance? Oh, if it's in the tolerance band? Shitty. Yes. 50%? <laughs> I don't know, but I heard that G5 gives you corona. <laughs> um, oh great! She said, yeah, she said the yeah. c word. She said the c word. We're demonetized. So, so, so you, 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 no, no, you were talking about beer. What was the question? Yeah, it was beer. Oh. Definitely I was. I was talking about beer. Beer. Right. <laughs> beer. Yeah, oh yes, right. Brown black uh, is first. So it's brown. It's, blue, it's good man, Landon. If we have a blue band in your <laughs> resistor, what was the question again? So, 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 so said the, the, the number is six, but what is, if it's a, if you have a blue tolerance, what's the, yeah, percentage? I just remember because the black brown starts first. So is it black, a, brown, is it yellow. Point uh, two orange, or, yeah. or point. Yes. Yeah. Five. Yes. It's actually point two five. Point two five mm. percent. Excellent. Holy crap. So, wait, point two five percent or twenty five percent? Point two five percent. So that's a high tolerance. Yeah. Half the decimal, it's low, like low tolerance. It's, it's extremely low tolerance. Five. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Don't ask me any more questions. Don't think this, please. All right, Landon. No, this is this is this is challenge off. He threw down the damn gauntlet. Okay, what's the formula for capacitive capacitive reactants? And I ain't looking motherfucking shit up either. Uh, yeah, but this is I, not art related. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, look at Landon. Landon's right now going through his brain files just. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, let me find I, 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 I'm not He's gonna get I, it. I think he has, I think, a, he has, he has think, a real file cabinet in there. I think it's one divided by the screw root of two pi FC, yes, but is. don't quote me on that. That sounds. Are, it, it, it is one over square root. That sounds very familiar. That sounds right. very familiar, actually. But it's like, I remember. Yeah. Pi, is it, I remember doesn't it being... say like omega C uh, and then yeah, the no, omega, omega is? Yes, yeah, the omega is the base. Yeah, and and uh, omega comes down to like, yeah. Two pi. Yeah. So what? I think it's square root. Whatever square root of omega c, isn't it? I thought it was one. I no. It... no. Let's look. No. Text. I, re <laughs> I remember being asked this on a test when I was I in college, too. and I, I got a... it right. I, I don't know it now. For my my ham radio license back when I was thirteen freaking years of age. <laughs> I'm not even there yet. Uh, I spent the last two days doing nothing but holding up in this bedroom with no desk hunched over a tablet doing art mm. so i don't you can't expect me to know dick all of from i was other I, <laughs> hey hang on, hang on. i was so close i was so close it it's not a square root it's one divided by two pi fc no, no yeah i was like i never there is one there well there, no there's there's capacitive reactants and there's inductive reactants I yes know, the inductive reactants has the square root if i remember correctly Mm. Hey, sweet, are or you not sure you two pi, in here? Or, or that, either that or it's 2 pi FL. <laughs> so one of, them one of them has a square root. I, the other one's 2 I, pi I, FL. If I put that inductive uh, reactants... That's 2 pi uh, FL. Did you, uh, notice did, that, did you notice that Manya was in the chat talking to Bool, and Bool told Manya that he's part of everything, and probably one of the only things that Bool doesn't produce is our show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody asked my call sign. My call sign was KB6HSZ. And I still remember that to this day. And now I had, I got that when I was 13 years of age. So I, this is a science show. Remember? Science mm. well, I have show. An, an email address. <laughs> Piano. So, so, so did any of you ever see the movie Joyride? Speaking of radios. 
You remember the movie yeah. Joyride? It was like a B movie. Candy cane. Candy, Candy cane. cane. Yes. Somebody knew it. <laughs> yeah, I so, saw that. So, that uh, the one thing that that's that, he that, did that's that, that's <laughs> new not by COVID. That we we discovered that a star that um we we the star was actually was a binary star up in um there's a, there's a star called um binary it, star it, what's that well it's a, it's a pair of stars Two orbiting each other right and ah. and so and so this this the star is called the the, 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 the the common name is called Thuban uh it's in Draco and it used to be uh what it's one of our it's one of the time right. occasionally it becomes the pole star and sort of you know in the in the time of the ancient uh ancient Egyptians um the precession's axis pointed closer to Thuban than than Polaris so it was considered to be sort of the pole star and it turns out that that star is actually a double star a binary pair and they orbit each other um once every 51.4 days and and they're now in a position where when the one goes behind the other it it, it dims slightly just there's a slight dip in in, in the the but brightness don't they so, collapse into each other due to the gravitational pull or something or the centrifugal force or the centripetal force is well, i mean i think, I think the orbits you know um uh, uh, they're, they're in stable orbits around each other i mean things can have a stable orbit that's not you can yeah, have I, a stable I, orbit I, around I, a black hole too. Like, no but no they're not the orbit's not decaying Okay. There's no, there's well, no not it's called, there's no forces causing it to to decay. They'll they'll already half fine. the half the stars you see in the sky, most of them are almost half are probably binaries. Correct. Mm -hmm. What about ours? Our, ours, <laughs> well, ours, ours, is, ours used to have a twin. Ours is a third yeah. generation star, I believe. Yeah, and it probably well, it was probably born, was probably born with another twin, like a twin. Like it was open in an open cluster, like like the Pleiades, and it's been dispersed because we've gone around the you know the the galaxy about twenty times since since mm -hmm. it was uh, since it switched on. So um, that that open cluster has been dispersed, but they're searching for um, uh, siblings of our sun. I thought, they, I thought they found one. They thought that might have been the twin. Yeah, I mean, there's been a couple of candidates, and uh, and certain, the the guy of mission is also giving us uh, some good ideas about where they where they might be. But it would be nice because because they'll be similar age, obviously, and they also have similar, um, you know, metallicity that 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 is heavy elements around them. So they're likely to have potentially similar planets like like Earth and so forth, if they're in the right spot and things went okay for them. So apparently, well, that, that means if they didn't explode. Yeah. Yeah. So or, or other so bad things happen. Apparently, there. British mathematician yeah. John Conway died of COVID nineteen. Oh, Jesus. yeah, I heard that. I shared that tweet. Well, that's 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 the sad thing. I I that's I, 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 I don't know work with him. Right? I was Conway was oh, wow. we're, we're, we're buds. Oh, that's sad. Wow. That's not, not fully verified yet, but it seems to be the case on the Twitter. On the Twitter. Wait a fucking yeah. bring the night down. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Dude, I, I dude, when we're drinking, I'm that one guy that just has to like, you know, bring everything down. Hey guys, don't, Rob, don't you yeah. Yeah. So, so, so Conway and I did a lot of work on your know, number theory. Um, the the system for naming English name of of, of numbers of any size. Was co-developed by Conway and myself. So, um, I know for you know. So there actually, there's a Perl program on a website I have where you can type in numbers and it'll tell you you know one followed by this many zeros and it'll give you the name of that thing. Every that's party wonderful. has a poop. That's why we invited you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, why do we invite? Steve? I have one purpose. What's that? I have one one oh, job. Man. Let me do it. <laughs> and, and I want to get another Taylor. You guys fend for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no! What no. will we do? Oh, we have to do a show without Steve. Oh, is it no. just me, or did this? Uh -oh. is, it, is it just me, or did this stream get a whole lot better? Like uh, all of a sudden, I don't know why. Hostile <laughs> <laughs> takeover. Game over, man. It's a party Game now. over. <laughs> Hostile takeover part two. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Serious, you're on a you're on a mission oh, throwing oh, James around, Steve. Steve. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah, no Steve, Steve's gone. You know what this means? I gotta go uh, move my computer to the kitchen. Chess crap time. <laughs> so, 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 uh, so we're talking about John Horton Cronway. Is that correct? I believe oh, so. Are we? Game of yeah. life. Oh, yeah. Game uh, of life. Uh oh, Dad's back. <laughs> Oh, 
I think so. He was Shh. getting some. Shh. Shh. Hide. Shh. Shh. I heard. I heard. I record everything. You know that, right? Don't, don't tell. I, I can't. I have DVR on this. Don't tell me. I can't. I can't listen. So. Oh. Um. So we were you, talking you about you. can't see us. We're not looking at you. That's where we leave off. <laughs> it would have been really funny if all of us just hung up. <laughs> I, 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 I could do this by myself for hours. I've done it before. Yeah, yeah. Steve does it by himself all the time. We, yeah, exactly. For hours. Damn it, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> well, Without a minutes, game. hours, seconds. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's all times relative, mm. right? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What no, matters is quality time. Exa yeah. A theory, B theory, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I want to go back and I want to go back to quiz and Landon. I find that enjoyable for some reason. Mm. But <laughs> I, I, I'm not seeing any any information about in every three circles about it yet. So uh, maybe it just I have it on the French news. The French news? French Which French? one? The French. The French news. The French, the French news. news. The French news. Uh, Which African yeah, French country? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately news. wanted to say that's it less trustworthy, be. but I have no reason why. It must be the one in English. So the French news that's yeah. in English. Whatever one that is. <laughs> oh, that's definitely bullshit. Hmm. Well... <sighs> The Guardian has it. The Guardian has it on on its page. Bonjour, Comment allez-vous? Merci. français? Comment ça va? Je ne sais quoi. Oui. Bonjour, je m'appelle Hello. Don't even want to touch. Man, I'm really hungry now. Français. 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 Yeah, no sepa, Sherwick. Yeah, no sepa. Listen, if, listen, if, if, if nobody has looked up that Telefrance <laughs> pineapple in some time, I definitely recommend you Google Telefrance pineapple like right the fuck now and look at how horrifying that thing is. Well, I, I know. I can't. All right. See, I won't do it now because I'm here, but I will. Do it. <laughs> Is this something we should play? <laughs> oh my god, play the opening to Telefrancais, please. Steve? I don't know what the hell it is. What the fuck, well Chesh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I told you. Well, Telefrancais. I'm, I'm just seeing images on the, the Google search, and this is already looking fucking terrifying. Yeah, he's, he's a French <laughs> pineapple, man. So, so kind of like the Nephilim free debate the other night. His <laughs> name is his name is Anana. Essentially, the pineapple's name is Pineapple. I don't know what you want from me. Mm. Did anybody watch that? Very Did anybody Not watch French. that? Jesus, I I the don't watch is Nephilim like YouTube free. <laughs> I, I happen to watch some of the Nephilim free T jump. I wouldn't call it a debate. Why I don't know what the hell it was. Why? These <laughs> things should never happen. There are certain things in the world that should never be, should never come about. That is one of them. I saw who was debating, and I was... It, I it was literally the blind that. leading the blind. It was like Dunning-Kruger matched with Dunning-Kruger. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's uh, double... That's Dunning-Kruger squared. So awful. Not even double. L this is the whole debate. Watch. watch. Mind, mind you, argue or something real quick. Just anything. Be spontaneous. But I, I'm looking, right, I don't Kyle believe you. I don't Kyle's believe you. And he deserves. <laughs> that's he, not he scientific. Every bit of that money. <laughs> that's not scientific. I don't believe you. Where's your? That's not scientific. Kyle did nothing wrong. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Argue something true. Argue something true. <laughs> all he did was say, "Well, that's." Yeah. By the way, it wasn't. I mean, he's right on that. I mean, Nephilim is an idiot. But his he had no counter whatsoever to show why Nephilim Flea was an idiot. If you're going to debate Nephilim Flea, free at least. Show why he's wrong to people. Don't just say, "Oh, yeah. well, you're wrong." So oh, it, was God, it was the Godless. Yeah. It was the it was the part two to Godless Engineer versus G Man. Yeah, I think oh, I, God, I, 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 was I was willing to give Nephi the win. I'm about ready to convert to <laughs> Young Earth Creationism now. <laughs> so, so I I got confirmation from one of his, his staff that that John Conway passed away. That's I'm sorry. Oh. Too bad. And we're down. And the room's back down. <laughs> wow, I try to I try to liven it up, but this time sorry. now land is no, Debbie Downer. No, we're waiting. No, no, no. I'm Tell sorry. Tell the Okay. Tell yeah. the list of names people have died. Okay. I mean, get it off. Steve, John Conway um, can still kick Nephilim Free's ass. 
Steve, Landon. Yeah. Please look up the Tele Francais opening right on YouTube and play it for everybody. Uh, make Landon laugh. Somebody yeah, make Landon laugh. Okay, <laughs> Landon, Landon, here's some yeah. good news. Images. Uh, so <laughs> yes. on on the show last week, I don't know if you saw, but you won the shirt. So you're gonna get a free shirt soon, a new one, and Ooh. we're gonna send some extra stuff with it too. Cool. Oh, that sounds cool. nasty. What are you going to do to it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's on the shirt? Yeah, right? no, watch the shirt. Yeah, like, I remember Lewinsky. Is it going to be anything like that? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, they have they have cool shirts, by the way. I, that, that, that's the only thing you go to Mark Atheist store because they have. Hey, uh, Steve, can you white box me real quick? Sure. Landon, can you white box me real quick also? Your white box. I'm going to do it too. Do? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just so you na na na. I just got that off of my screen. What are you doing? Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> All the French I know I learned from a pineapple. <laughs> you know, I was gonna it's get a pi- juice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was gonna Dude. get a pineapple tattoo, but now I'm rethinking it. It looks but like is it? Why would you get a pineapple Only tattoo? English and Spanish oh, that 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 call it a pineapple in other languages. It's like anana or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Pineapple. Uh, like no, everything I, I, else. Just add a to it in Spanish. Know. Pineapple Ollie. That's you know. Ollie Ollie. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck is? <laughs> with the... Yeah. See, I don't know. Yes. Oh. It's, they, they did it in French, right? That's, that's a proper. Yeah. Yes. Oh, pizza will never be the same again. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Pizza Look at him. should never have had pineapple in the begin with. We've already explained this. It's, it's oh, the same yeah, I'm not gonna, hey, 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 hey. No, no, I am not no. going to take culinary advice from you, Mr. Applebee's. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Just because you have not worked your way up to an Applebee's date yet, that's not my problem, okay? That that lander, that ladder <laughs> takes time to find that wrong. Date. Hey, okay? I divorced the Applebee's dates. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. That's actually how you ask sweet is for a divorce. Prenup? You just take her to Applebee's. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Good to you know, you, you wouldn't do that. Have you, you ever had no, sir, have you ever had their wonton chicken tacos? They're freaking amazing. I don't like microwave mm-hmm. food when I pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> microwave food shouldn't cost more than a few dollars. That's my also, standard. Maybe just in, maybe in California the food's better. I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe. like and, I, it's possible because I mean, I've, I've been like KFCs elsewhere and they suck. Um, to be fair, when I was visiting Ghoul in Florida, the the chicken nugs in Florida are way better than the chicken nugs up here. But the hamburgers are sh- shit compared to the hamburgers up here. Oh, you didn't go to Red Robin, no. did you? Or In and Out? They got me. No, what I really liked Red was the IHOP. Yeah. The IHOP was fucking fantastic. No, see, IHOP here is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Really? The food's IHOP always here. cold. The service is always hmm. bad. Yeah, it, it's like everybody jokes about how bad IHOP is. It, All right, so what is a good restaurant in the depends. Boston region? <laughs> chains, pretty much chains are mostly not that great. That, well, you ever been to Grumpy's? Hmm? You ever been to Grumpy's in Quincy? Grumpy's in Quincy. Grumpy Burger. I don't think so. I haven't been oh, there in a long time. I'm up north crazy. now. So. Oh, man. Wait, so you're, you're that close. That's what I wasn't sure of. I didn't know you could remember where you were. <laughs> I, I don't live there now, but I used to. And oh, oh my okay. God. That place yeah. is amazing. Right, how I, about, I live in Quincy too. How about Popeyes? You like Popeyes? Popeyes is okay, but I'd rather yeah, fry my own chicken. It's good. How about it's churches? Churches chicken. I've never had churches uh, chicken. Churches is not as we good don't as have Popeyes. That here yeah. Somebody yeah. says the Vadim Newquist ladder. Exactly. Le- Lomo gets it. You have to climb that mm-hmm. Vadim Newquist ladder for Applebee's. Because when you... I mean, that'd be great if she wanted to climb the ladder to get to fucking Applebee's. <laughs> it's a challenge, man. I could, I, I could put the effort in to climb the ladder to Applebee's, or I could just stay home alone and make good food uh, you, like you, I always do. Got, and, not <laughs> and not have to eat Applebee's. You, you got, got you got to start at like Bob's Big Boy or like Stucco Stuckies if you remember Stuckies. Um, hey, how does it's... Denny's rate down there for everybody? I happen to think uh, around here the ops better food. than the Denny's. Hangover Wait, did, food. Did you say? Did you That's say it. Denny's hangover or food? Denny's. Yeah. Denny's. 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 That's uh, all right, I guess. <laughs> five Guys is good. Five I like Guys. Five is guys. Okay. Yeah. Denny's yeah. For is fast delicious. Food, it's good. Yeah. Five Guys is okay. How about legal seafood? You Overpriced. Should... I'd rather have the illegal seafood. 
You guys yeah. should Tim Hortons. <laughs> yeah. Those tweets probably the only person I, here knows what legal seafood is. Yeah, except for it's, me. So, yeah. it's overpriced, but, do, but it's okay. Do, do they still require you to pay before you uh, get your order? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what color you are? Now I'm hungry. Where's the peanut butter, Vanya? Yeah, where's the peanut butter, Vanya? <laughs> Manya's jar of peanut butter. I would take that jar of peanut butter over Applebee's any day. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did not know where you were going to go with that. Uh, obviously, she's going through, of course, you would take the jar of peanut butter and then you would slather it around Manya. And just... <laughs> I mean, if well, that's yeah, an that option. Yeah, that would be better than, <laughs> that would be better than Applebee's. Than Applebee's. But... That's definitely I mean, better that, than That's really high up on the ladder. That's like the yeah. top rung. <laughs> yeah. it, it's my kind of dessert. Hey. <laughs> you got you got Carl's Jr., Denny's, Manya, or that, that, Manya. That, that's, that's a ladder <laughs> that in Manya will have to work out. <laughs> I would like to see that in a menu somewhere. <laughs> peanut butter peanut Manya. Butter peanut butter Manya. Manya. <laughs> <laughs> it's, if anyone oh, ever know, opens a restaurant, be... please make a place yeah, called Peanut Butter Manya. <laughs> Manya, what's your favorite Indian food? Like from home, uh, what's your favorite? From, um, that's um, beans and rice, like chili beans and rice. Like okay, yeah. so the, the, a peanut butter mania is chilies be like the best chili beans and rice you can get with a, like just big ass blob of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck on top. Can you mix peanut butter and curry? Why um, would you? Why would you mix curry? It's it's not curry. It's, I love curry. It's yeah. Chili. Yeah, I but mean, it's her favorite food, not your favorite food. Jesus Christ, you are a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even my favorite food. That's one of my favorite mm. foods, actually. But... I, I do love curry. Racist. Mm. I love Thai food, too, like spicy peanut sauce. Oh, like, like, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Thai, Thai food. <laughs> it's just... You know, it, uh, you know what it should be? It should be like a version of like of of chili rice it should be like beans and weans that's been stir fried with rice with a blob of peanut butter on top <laughs> oh god like, i'm telling you somebody like needs gourmet to weenie like beans. <laughs> yeah <laughs> next next chest craft we know what we're making uh -oh. yes. you're making a peanut butter and mania. you gotta eat it no matter how gourmet bad it weenie is weenie. yeah slowly yeah you have to eat it with a lot of tongue action. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's heard that like a million times already. And talk with your mouth. Well, she's doing it. Monica take it. She's tough. She, she could take oh, a bet. tongue action. <laughs> oh, <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Okay. See, Mario loves attention. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <"Tell> <laughs> <it français." laughs> <"Tell it français." laughs> We're not making Landon laugh. I'm not happy. I yeah. tried to, try to figure out the stars that are in the background at the South Pole camp. He loses interest when we talk about Manya. I finally, I finally, okay. So I, I see that there's Sirius there. You can see mm -hmm. him in the sky. And, yep, that's uh, me. I'm part of. Part of uh, <laughs> Okay, I, I figured out the sky. Did you just fucking blow but up it's, yet? It's, it's it's getting it's getting dark enough down there that you can actually see stars in the in their in their webcam. So oh no, mm. that's like awesome. There's something light here. Like, really bright. I saw from my daughter's room. We were both looking at something really bright in the sky. We're gonna take a look at it with the telescope tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what Aliens? it is. But... Make sure it's no. not the sun. Probably a planet. Yeah, they, <laughs> call, yeah, they, they call that the yeah. sun. I, I, I guess like some it's, people think like that they're planet. looking at a bright star, but it's uh, most of the times it's Venus. It was at night. Oh, yeah, they call, it's wait, probably they call, that. They call that the moon, yeah. sweet. The moon. Mm. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, yes. you're, you're throwing a very dangerous territory here. I mean, it's a star. They already it's, told you that you're dead. Now you want to become a zombie. Yeah, you're pushing it, man. So, so is it in the evening or in the morning? No, it was tonight. I'm saying it, it's, it oh, looks so like probably, a star, it's probably, it's probably it's Venus. Bright, Venus. But it's, I haven't yeah. seen it in the particular window that I've seen it before. So I was just going to double check it. Mm. It's, really it's cool. in the West? It's incredibly uh, bright. Is uh, it yes. in the West? Yes, it's in the West. It's Venus. It's Venus. Yes, that's what I think. Yeah. 
<laughs> Way to ruin the fun for her and her kid. Can no, you figure out what it is? That's what I was doing. I'd go through the, you know, the process with her of, of discovering it because she's hmm. not as she doesn't know. You know, like she's learning about that still. So here's a fun fact for you. The, the the ancients when they saw Venus at night they called it Hesperus but when they saw Venus in the morning they called it phosphorus and they didn't know it was the same thing. Yeah, I think it was a uh, Pythagoras that actually determined, if I'm not mistaken, that mm -hmm. Hesperus and phosphorus were the same thing. Right, that was such a mind, <laughs> such a mind screw for people. The best, you kind. know, the little things like that. It says it's awesome. Yeah, I love that stuff. That's a really cool hey, thing. No, no, mind oh, we have a super chat. Helios, five dollars. <laughs> Dinos, gyros, or gyros, or gyros. I have a penny. Put it. Gyros. I, I say gyro. I say gyro. Okay. Gyros. You I'm say on it your wrong. Side, Steve. It's gyros. Yeah. Gyro. Gyro. I know that. Gyro. <laughs> hey, I was married to a Greek for seven years. Don't tell me. How do you say it? <laughs> Jeez, why did you do that? How, how do you say it? Gyro. 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 Steve can't roll his eyes. I can't roll my R's. Are you mocking the disabled guy? Are you mocking the one that has a tongue impediment that I can't roll my R's? Alright. It's the only damn disability I got. Alright, try this. Try this. Gyro. Gyro. Can you say Gyro? Yes, I've said that. Sweet. Close enough. Sweet. Gotta be slow. This is a man. You can't buy heroes with heroes. Can I just super chat now? The fuck? No, no. Gonna... no, you clearly no, can't. Not at all. Yeah, not. You you read it. Go ahead. You, read. <laughs> you do it right. Dino's Euro is my fave fast food. One of the few places that had Euro nearly as good as my dad makes them, and he makes his own tzatziki sauce. Mm. Oh, Steve would have tripped over tzatziki sauce. Uh, tzatziki. Yeah, tzatziki. Tzatziki. Absolutely. tzatziki sauce. <laughs> You know what I love is like a buffalo chicken wrap, but instead oh, of bleach, you put tzatziki sauce on it. That's it's so much so better. Good. It's that's so, so good. much better. And I love guys. Movies, I'm getting very like, hungry now. Don't do that. Well, where's <laughs> the peanut butter? Yeah, where's yeah. the peanut butter? There's no peanut butter. There's no peanut butter. <laughs> there's no peanut butter. There's no peanut peanut butter, butter is the peanut I butter is on Mania. Yeah. It's not like I can eat it like. Yeah. Ma Manya, yeah. by the way, we talking I'm chunky white or smooth? Manya, we gotta watch her watch peanut Dessert. butter or eat peanut butter. <laughs> Manya. Ma Manya, chunky or smooth? Smooth. Always smooth. 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 Damn right. Smooth. Depends on the application. Oh, no. Smooth. <laughs> hey, are you listening? Any company for peanut butter, I might increase your sales. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mania, there you go. Are you riding? Do you love me? <laughs> See, this is it. Mania is just low key sponsored by the peanut butter. Damn. Damn. <laughs> by it. So, I want to so, get sponsored by the peanut butter. So, this is an odd question. Um, <laughs> oh, so I, I have switched to uh, La Fiesta Margarita. Ooh, you. Yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. So, I have no idea the potential of that. Photo. Leta Lumo asks Do you or Landon know any joke, know of a joke? Made by the principle of explosion. I I, I I know what the principle of explosion is, but I don't know any jokes by it, though. Does anybody know? The principle of explosion is if you have contradiction in, in classical theorism, you, you can basically prove anything. The system explodes. Hmm. Uh. It doesn't it doesn't work always in like thought. We have other systems like that what or paraconsistent logics that you can have. Principle, you can have true contradictions without principle of explosion. I'm really mad but that Final the... Fantasy VII has come out, and I no longer have a PlayStation 4, so I can't fucking play it. Mm. And I, I've been so, like, up and down hype for that game, because it's like, oh my god, it's coming out! Oh no, it's not coming out! And, and <laughs> oh my god, it's coming out! Oh no, there's some weird stuff going on. Oh my god, it's coming out! Oh, but they're gonna do this really bad shit. Oh my god, it's out now! Holy shit! No, kind of like Half-Life 3? And now I can't, yeah, but it's out now, and I can't uh, fucking play it. So it's Half-Life 3! PlayStation 4. And Just not kidding. only can I, can not, Alex. look how much I finished. Look, so <laughs> oh, wow, hey, yay, progress. What a big girl. <laughs> That's what you started with. You had half a ball. I don't know how they're going to do in live action. And I can't fucking, I can't fucking play the goddamn game. And then I looked up to see if it was going to come out on the on the computer. Maybe it'll be out on Steam at some point. And they're like, not talking about it, but maybe next year. And I'm like, ah, you. Manya, what, how much did you start position. with? Write an angry letter. Wait, how much? Ah? How, yeah, how much did you start with? <laughs> Ah, uh, somewhere here. Mm. There <laughs> somewhere you go. Right 
And then, yeah, I progressed a lot since last time. You, you well, progressed. Yes. You are slurring, so it's tolerant. working. If you can and remember I'm... where you started, that means you haven't drinking enough. So, <laughs> drinking enough. I've been drinking enough. I've been... Yeah, point, I caught that point, too. Point me. Chug, 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 <laughs> chug. Hey, hey, that's wine. That's a good fourteen percent. She shouldn't be chugging that. <laughs> I am a seasoned think, alcoholic. I know like right where 14? she's at. <laughs> yeah, we don't want her to uh, discover religion and start praying to the porcelain god. We don't need that. Yeah, should I, I, be chugging? I, I don't thought it about people would follow me, like, you know. <laughs> Have a few more drinks and we'll start convincing her flat earth is true. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's into it. Yeah. <laughs> don't you know, Manya, that, that b- water doesn't bend? There's no such thing as bendy water. Curve doesn't stick to a flying Yeah, ball, large no? bodies of water don't no, water 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 Then you can't prove that. Yeah, I Manya would would absolutely love perspective. to see. I would, I would love to see Manya. <laughs> okay, so recently on Modern Day Debates, Erica debated with uh, some guy that I didn't recognize who might be more interesting to talk to you, and uh, Nathan Thompson. And like watching Erica deal with Nathan Thompson was just like, oh no. <laughs> now we didn't invite Nathan. We didn't. So we invited no. Erica on tonight, but she was busy, so maybe next week. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, she said maybe next week. But it, but oh my god, that was amazing. And I've, I'm only 40 minutes in, so I have like another half an hour or so to go. And I want to see if she loses it because the whole time she's just like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's like she can't get through. And I'm like, oh, Erica, sweetheart, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose. I think she is. Like, I think she's purposely being like, I'm just not going to respond to bullshit. And I'm like, yeah, but it's Nathan Thompson and you can't, you have to kind of just like stomp Jump all in. over it, dumbass. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know if she does later, but I would, I would actually like to see Madia talk to Nathan Thompson because she would just like yes. scream him the fuck yes. down and it'd be amazing. I want to see a like drunk Madia. Why is he dark? It has to be drunk Madia. It has to be drunk Madia. Mad Madia is best Madia. Debate Nathan Thompson. That'd be the <laughs> awesome. Oh how, how, why why yeah. is we all like love a peanut butter spoon? We all, awesome. yeah, that's 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 we all love Mad Madia. It's like when she goes nuts, it's just like yeah. Oh my god, it's awesome. Last time of the month. This mad lad over here, we're fucking talking about a Twitter situation going on, and she goes over and looks up the Twitter conversation that I'm talking about, and she fucking posts her hangout link at the end of the conversation. <laughs> the actual hangout link? The invite link? No, 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 it was Discord. Yeah. Oh, okay. She posted the link to the stream, and I was just like, oh, like, Jesus Come on Christ. over here, motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, you guys don't know the truth. What are you talking about? Come to the light. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've not seen it, there's uh, Manya and Matt Adams having a discussion. <laughs> this is why we have oh, a good we, t- we take advantage of the drunk girls. That's what we do here. There you go. Yeah. I, you what, like uh, I suppose I should get more drunk, though. It will be the other way around. I'll be taking advantage of him. Uh, Nathan Thompson? See, even when well, that, that sounded really Nathan weird. Well, you want to take advantage of Nathan Thompson? What, sweet? Wait, what? Nobody wants to take advantage of Nathan Thompson. Oh, who, should, who, who does she want to take advantage of? You. Oh, oh okay. No, like you can't even, well, you can't even have yeah, that. Yeah. Like, oh, Steve tries to take advantage of women. No, women try to take advantage uh-uh. of Steve. I am so <laughs> sexually harassed. Yes. <laughs> Not enough, but yes. Yes. there's always room yes. for improvement. Keep going. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. uh, practice, man. Yeah. Practice at it. It's fine. It's work on it. It's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. We should what? entertain Landon. Landon, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> Let go, I mean, I'm why, why does Landon have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having some chips. I'm having some uh, thing and listening to weird conversations and watching my friends <laughs> and so forth. As as weird. Yes, as long weird as weird. Him. <laughs> so. I'm done. No. <laughs> what? This is what we do. We balance the silly with yeah. the science. There you go. Landon, did you, did you see something new and interesting? By the way, that's, that's the New Zealand's mating call. Yes, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's a human mating call. <laughs> 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 It's better than the it's better than the goblin man. By the way, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh Steve? Yeah. I'm drunk. 
I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Decisions, hey, decisions. Let everybody? me think about this. Okay. Wait a minute. Mm. <laughs> if I can say that to my wife, she'll fucking throw something at me. It, uh, you know, it, hey, it really baby, depends, I'm wait, drunk. It really Fuck depends, off. Hang on. It really depends between Manya, Sweet, and Lawrence. Who can do better with peanut butter? I mean, that, that's really Manya. the same factor. We know it's Manya. I'm going to go with Manya. That's my option. Don't you dare. I, I am very experienced with licking. Mm. Oh, what, does it hey, 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 what does it not mean? It depends on how many minutes. It depends on how many <laughs> minutes you lick. Oh. It should, uh, you can uh, lick it for 30 minutes. minutes? It's supposed to, wait, it's supposed to take minutes? <laughs> wait. I, mean, I have peanut butter, too. How yeah. many licks does it take to get to the end of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> I think, I think got we're, the jelly. A, lot of us, a lot of us are pretty lonely right now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Boss and Manya over here. So. No, I'm not lonely. I have a cat. Look! Uh, look! What? Yeah, I know. Oh, does, does your My very first mask. Butter? Look at this. <laughs> my very first mask. He can, he can try. I'm keeping this for my lifetime, it. so I remember. Pandemic. I didn't know that was the thing. Yeah. You, guys the not, you guys have a mask. You guys have to wear them. We have to wear them. My landlady like has them, and she yeah. lets me borrow them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have a, a. It's strongly suggested that we wear them. I oh, guess it's are. not actually order, ordered in Massachusetts. Uh, oh, fine. I don't leave the house, so Not it doesn't fucking matter. You're I can't leave the house. I can't. Like the people in my house mask? will not let me leave because I'm immunity compromised. I, and mm -hmm. like that, but I see so many well, people sure. walking outside uh, without masks, so I don't want to go out <laughs> without one because everybody mm -hmm. else is walking around without one, and it's you know kind of that yeah, no, thing. Mandatory or, in my area. Landon, yeah. you got a mask? I use I use my uh, volcanic uh, gas mask. Oh, that'll do well, it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like that would fucking so... Like a real fucking badass. Like that's meta. That's like meta. Like... <laughs> yeah, it, it sort of, yeah, because if it, you know, it, it, Can you know, have a it blocked, it? it blocked like you know submicron ash particles. It yeah. Can, it can whip it out. Like hydrogen. Land it. Whip it out. I want to see it. Whip it out. You got it. Um, yeah. I'll, mask, I'll, I'll go down. I'll go down and get it and put it on if you want. Whip it out, Please? Landon. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Right. Landon yeah, is going to be the guy with all of the things during this the apocalypse. Is right? I have. He's gonna... <laughs> that looks like a way to I'm rob something. Yeah. yeah, I know. I don't want to walk away I'm like this. I don't blame you. Oh, that's a, yeah. This is the thing. <laughs> you think? So all of a sudden, all of, like what we're seeing here with Brandon, this is a new mating call. This is what I'm talking oh. about. This is how you know. Oh. What do you want to be? Oh, with? Brandon. Oh, it's the monkey mask. It's who's the, monkey who's mask. the most prepared? Right. <laughs> no, I call it yes. You only take the mask. I was, off I was when born you're ready. ready. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when I'm wrong. I when I'm out looking. Put it over your nose. Yeah. What the hell? What the Instant buzz kill. This is you know, they've, <laughs> yeah. they've already got shit like this a porn hub, I've heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. Like that. Obviously, why? Yes, they they why? Why would they make such shit? I don't. Because rule thirty-four. Oh my god. Yeah. Revenue. I know. Rule thirty-four. Hold on. Let me, can I? Let me. Let me explain this. Please do. Okay. <laughs> so the porn industry is literally ahead of everybody all the time about everything. Yeah. Chances are that they already knew about coronavirus before even Trump knew about it months ago. <laughs> they probably yes. knew about it before China knew about it. And the reason they knew about it <laughs> is because they had to have porn already in production. <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, you, know what, you know what Pornhub has now? Porn industry leading Holy the way. Fully stocked oh, yeah. grocery store POV walkthrough. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, sexy. Good. Good. I'm gonna have to look that up. I haven't been outside in a very long time. I know. That me too. Sounds pretty hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm convinced. Yeah, really has hair. I'm convinced. I'd love to saunter down that aisle. I'm convinced. Go down that movie. dairy aisle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do I'm it. Oh to my go. God! They have toilet paper. I I'm gonna reach for those tips. That produce. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. sweet. I'm, I'm definitely that sanitary I'm, right. I, I'm convinced it's that it's Mr. Whipple's behind the uh, the virus. He wants <laughs> Mr. Whipple. Shit, what? Mr. Ripple? The guy. Yeah. Don't Charmin. squeeze the Charmin. Yeah. <laughs> Don't squeeze the. I'm sorry. It's she. I'm drunk. Manya, water. <laughs> yeah, water. So, yeah, so water now this is gonna be a thing. Sweet's gonna sauce Shay down like yeah, the, the toiletry well, uh, aisle. 
the paper I towel. Got, I got it. I got oh, it. So, I this, she like, like, it like sultry kind of like dick, dick, paper towel and put it in the basket. I was in that mood two weeks ago. There was a clip from a, a horror movie, which now I forget the name of, but uh, <laughs> with this woman, <laughs> it's girl, woman, and uh, she had like, a cute little pink fluffy outfit on. And I can't remember the name I of the movie it. now because I'm drinking, but <laughs> She's in the grocery aisle and she's like bent over and it shows like her underwear. It's like so super cute. But I'm like, that's going to be me grocery shopping next time I go. Because it's is it the same pink or is more, it pink? more pink and less mauve. Like that's more mauve. But it's Look at Landon. Cheat colors. Look at Landon. That's awesome. I, I need to put it on my Hold you, oh. Landon. 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 All right, Landon wins the pandemic. Yes. Landon wins hey. the pandemic. Yes. That's Landon. Yeah. You, you Landon. Landon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you should put a bra over your face. It's yeah. relatively oh, comfortable. <laughs> it's relatively wow. comfortable. It's a little hard to hear you, but but mm. you know, yeah, it's good, but but it's relatively it's... comfortable. It's got you know a HEPA filters, carbon, actually the carbon. Isn't um, there is is something like positive pressure and negative pressure face mask? Which one is this one? So this is this is this is a. This is a, 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 you, you, you pull in. So you, you create negative pressure to breathe in. Yeah. Negative pressure. Now, I used, okay, I used yeah. to wear one of those. A, a, a mark, See, I know my PPE. Uh, I, I mark, I believe it was a Mark five gas mask and you have to create a seal on it. You have to create, you have to like, yes. you blow yes. and you blow it out. Then you create a seal on it. And once you do, it's, it's, it sucks. I'm telling you, those are not fun to wear. They're, they're legit no. not fun to wear. Um, oh, but it's not really comfortable. Here. It's not. It's not so bad. You know, oh, I hated the rubber seal, and it just it, it just sucked. I like it. Ten ten wood. I mean, it was it. a seal. It's supposed <laughs> to suck. So yeah. Oh so, yeah. So that's just how I do it, and 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 then I. I oh, those are, are those activated charcoal? Yeah. Come out. Are those activated charcoal you, filters? Yes. Okay. It has HEPA. Um, it's got a HEPA. High efficiency and, and then, particle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got yeah, it's so, so it's it's cool. a micron. It can handle things like hydrogen fluoride gas and sulfuric acid. Yeah, we well, ours are, we had different canisters for different things. Yeah, the most common was just the, the activated charcoal. Yeah. Most of them had a HEPA, and then they had for some other types of things you had to get a special filter. Um, yeah, but yeah. And so these these canisters on the side can can unscrew and, yeah. and you replace them here. Yeah, that's what you have to replace, isn't it? The filters. Yeah, on them. yeah. These, these are things yeah. They here. eventually wear out and become they, they come unactivated. What? Okay, mm. What's the life? Uh, what's the life if you use them regularly? Like how after how many days or months do you have to replace the filters? I, mean, these, I, I guess it depends they, on the site where you're visiting, but yes, that's true. Um, um, at at the protocol at the volcanic vent. Was that mm -hmm. you? You gave these about uh, a week. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta take off, but Landon, you're fucking amazing, and I love you. Also, I love the rest uh, of you. He, he wins the internet. Bye. 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 Give her kisses. Bye, Landon. Bye. The seventeen-year-old has to go to bed early. Bye. School night. Hey, oh, wait, get that don't, don't break her too. <laughs> don't break. <laughs> Also, social distancing. Oh, it's so each. Oh, so, what was Landon wearing? Like, was it protective, like, um, jacket that we was wearing? Like, was that for the ash, or was it? It was oh, a magnum gold. Oh wait, no, sorry, that was something different. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the jacket he was wearing. Yeah, I. I yeah, I so know. she. It pro probably, <laughs> probably was a was a, a rubber type jacket. Like the the, the okay, suits yeah. that we had to use yep. were chemical, biological, radiological suits. We had the canary suits yeah. for radiation, but the CBR suits they were uh, this made out of. Yeah, I'm. Of, of yeah, really I'm wondering kind of what's rubber. the material in there. This is still a condom joke. It is still a condom joke. <laughs> so. <laughs> So the, the I, I didn't use the full full suit because there's also there's a face shield and helmet and uh, and those are and and it's, it's harder to actually be 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 heard inside those things it's hard enough so so I make use of that and of course I I have a process when it comes in of essentially you know detoxifying the outside of that that stuff is why I brought it brought it in I I just I just gone to the hardware store to pick up some critical items and brought back. And so I just already, I, I had it in the room having been. The, oh, we're room. going but to have some most, bad weather really? tomorrow. It's getting windy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have also, Sam. Go ahead. No, 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 Landon. Let's see what I'm saying is far less important. I was just feeling that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a little yeah. bit. 
a little bit disappointed in humanity that the full body condoms haven't made a resurgence. In oh, they have. Time. Yeah. I think that, I, like, yeah. 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 Well, they should just get something well, that looks like a lot me. of us could put their full body condom. Mm. Ishtiak, Ishtiak, I'm, I'm, I'm drunk on Pinot Noir. Okay, it's not orange. I love Pinot Noir. Oh, you know, it's my favorite one. Really, how do you get drunk on Pinot it's Noir? It's rose Pinot Noir. Ruth, it's almost yeah, gone. Well, that's not Pinot Noir. It's a Pinot no? Noir blush. Yeah, rose. It's, it's, it's rose. Rose. It's a rose. Yeah. Rose. rose. Okay. What's it? Thirteen percent? Fourteen percent? Wine is wine. Yeah. Who cares? Now, Mani no, said the Frank. point where she doesn't even know what she's drinking, so drink. that means she needs to know <laughs> drink. How, how does she yeah. go from somebody who's never tasted alcohol to oh, a full blown oh, alcoholic in, in two months? Okay. This is like Steve did it. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, yeah, she, I eat peanut butter sandwich and I drink. It's Steve's fault. Yeah, Steve's fault. <laughs> I have nothing to do with your peanut butter Damn habit. Right. Your peanut butter habit is your own addiction. Well, I I had to find something to eat with my with my drink, right? So peanut butter it was. And and you asked me chunky or smooth, so yeah, it's your fault. Yeah. yeah. I Thanks blame, everything everything is I blame the puppies. Yeah. That's why they get kicked. So hey, that's what that? it looks like. At, that's what it looks like in the field, right? And oh. so, um, and I have the soup on, you know, suit on, and the helmet on there. You don't, oh you can't God. see the gas mask because I put, I'm, yeah, I'm putting my glove in front of my face to try and reduce. Wow. The, Is that fresh uh, lava heat. flow? Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Dude, you're like a foot away from it. That's Dude, so yeah. cool. Well, yeah, you got to put it into the, you, put it into the ice yeah. bucket, right? So how, 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 wait, it with, how fast is that? Uh, how fast is that flow moving? Oh, it's like so, pudding. So, so you try, you put it in the ice bucket to try and preserve its molecular stuff. Well, you, to, well like, you want to you study it yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Freeze, freeze it because 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 carrying around molten rock is kind of hard. No, yeah. that's yeah. Your bucket won't survive. No, like no, that. it's kind now, of molten. What are, you, what are you testing for? <laughs> I'm testing it's tough. We're looking. We're looking for well, the, the gas his materials and isotope materials. So you're checking for argon, potassium. And also, we're also looking for other other minerals. You're also looking for dissolved gases, and and yes. So yep. What's the end goal? To understand where at at what level the 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 lava, you know, became mag, you know, the magma became lava, right? So, and and where the magma uh, where it transferred, because because different different you'll see different gas constituencies in the in the lava depending upon its its. Uh, uh, its origin. Spot. This is why this yeah. is why argon forty forty and argon thirty nine forty and potassium argon dating doesn't work for those kinds of things because they get yeah. liquefied, right. they get inclusions in there, and the argon's not from the original source. And yeah, so that's entropy that, yeah. and temperature for you, buddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so that, that but but you you put your you have a like as this is lying glove and you put that in front of your face as for the shield to try and reduce the because that's probably where you feel the most of the heat. Is, so the is, shield. Is what's the material of the? Sh um, sorry, I'm slurring. But what's the material of the shield? It's <laughs> a good um, thing. Stop laughing. I I think it's I no. think it's a, I think it's an acrylic. When people stop laughing, that's when you have to worry. We're we're, we're laughing with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Acrylic. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. so. I'm not. I'm not fully you sure. So. so. You're asking but, great questions. Usually, you, you don't know what your PP is made of, really. Yep. I'm joking. <laughs> so, you were doing so well. Okay. You were doing so, like, okay. you know, the gas sobriety out the window of the, mm -hmm. the volcanic gases here, Shit. and in that in that cloud, I mean, there's certainly constituents of carbon dioxide and water, but there's also uh, hydro, you know, uh, sulfuric acid, mm -hmm. and there's also a hydrochloric acid, and there's also um, fluorine compounds like hydrofluoric. Hydrogen oh, fluoride. Okay. It's really, really, really nasty stuff. That's beautiful. So, so you, hey, you avoid the gases and. Absolutely. Fuck I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Uh, yes. Are you drinking water? Whatever you, whatever you just said, I completely it's agree. So so I, I drink no, yeah, water. Yeah. Manya. Yellow shit does not. Manya, drinking. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, Manya. I know this is a really weird way to do this, but this is our intervention. Mm. <laughs> no, we're all drinking. Going, no, drink. I don't know. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what Mr. Series is yeah, saying. Yeah, she's not at that limit. Yeah, she, 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 she needs to drink orange she's juice fine. and water. That's all. That's I, that's just common Manya, sense. Please, Manya, please talk more like that. Yes. <laughs> and, and do it while twerking too. When you, 
Oh yeah, of course. I'm not a bad influence. And at when all. you do that no. debate, no, with she's a... not. Beats is not a bad influence. I am not. Oh yeah. No. Oh, oh really? You think really? Hmm. I'm uh, Steve. <gasps> okay. I'm a Steve. I'm a good girl. Oh. I don't know what you're so sure. About. Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. So, well, so when you, when you do that debate with Nathan Landon, Thompson, start yelling at him like that. Spend in that environment? As few as possible, but you, you can, when, <laughs> when you're, you're going to a event area, you might be there for an hour or, or two, depending on measurements you're setting up and so forth, but you try to minimize the amount of time. Mm -hmm. The gas masks are there. You're trying to be upwind, but the wind yeah. changes. That you have the gas mask. I would I would minimize and, my time like never because I'm not going by that <laughs> four thousand degree volcanic flow like. And, and, so, oh and, so, and so you move. And so you would you do move. it. Yes, yeah. I would give my left arm to do I that. Know. Amazing. No, what the hell is wrong oh, with you people? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet like said hi. Landon <laughs> is the coolest hey, I, guy alive. Oh, that's I right. You, you only got to worry about a volcano for a virgin. That's right. You go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nobody's sacrificing me. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a, we'll we'll do a defcon we'll do a defcon thing and somebody will show you yes, please, 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 that would be awesome i love that stuff and mm -hmm. my daughter is really into geology right now oh it's great and stuff. that would be yeah volcanoes are so fun yeah mm -hmm. that's but, awesome. But, so, so you have the gas and you have you have uh your alarm meters so that when levels start rising um uh, you know, yeah. use a gas mask you know protects you you're working with the gas I... mask but when but when the alarms go off Mm. where it becomes you know it's important in case it comes there to it's there that's you when don't want to pass move out, out. And move out yeah and no. you, it's it's like why you are how you're working in confined spaces and that you have a gas detector and then the alarm goes off yeah yeah no, I got it. No, then, you, types, then you leave right on those types of volcanoes yeah. it's usually the gas that's most the problem because the flow is pretty slow and it it's not like an explosive volcano it's been, these things have been erupting for a very long time right so it's not like yeah i mean yeah, you worry about the hawaiian it. volcanoes are nice but but yeah. krakatoa krakatoa i don't know if you saw the some of the images it, uh, it, it it's oh, interrupted yeah, today yeah yeah it exploded. Yeah. There we go. There you go. It, it's a cranky volcano. <laughs> yeah. And the one in uh, water, Manya. Somebody else. One yeah, of no. the Yellowstone going to kill everyone. Nah, it's got cheers, some time. Manya. Oh, cheers. I have cheers. a question cheers. for Landon. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. cheers. We're drinking. Cheers. Oh, look at that. She got Steve. She got smug. Yeah, she got, 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 she got smug. Yeah. By the way, I fun fact. You get, you get more You're drunk nice. out of a smug, by the way. It's a fun ah. fact. I, I get discounts, Indeed. right, with my membership. I get you do. discounts, right? Oh, Good no. mug. Good oh. mug. <laughs> okay, I'll get that mug. Give me the code. I'll give you a code for it. Cool. So, uh, the only reason <laughs> Steve keeps me around is because I buy his merch. <laughs> hey, that's a good reason. You I don't found me out, Steve man. I mean, I was hoping that you wouldn't find the truth about me, but goddamn, yeah. it yeah, finally it. had to come out. It's all about the merch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am it's all about G the swag. Uh, what is no the what is it? What is it called? Swag, it's swag, it's swag, isn't it? Swag, swag, swag. Yeah. Yeah, swag. So, what does swag stand for? Swag. No idea. Who's Stephen Bowman? Uh, he's a geologist, Someone, actually. <laughs> yeah, some Landon. Landon suggested him. He said, yeah. "I said I recommend Steve Bowman for yeah. geology." He's See, I'm I'm looking at the chat. I'm being very concentrated. I'm trying to look at the chat. I'm I'm bad at chat. I'm bad at multitasking. Yeah. My attention. Is not that great. I am very ADHD. Like, so she ain't lying. Like, well, you know, well, yeah. she's, she's like squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Really do well. By the way, Steve, I really <laughs> like. Steve, I really what's like the, oh, what's that? I really like the black hole cup you're uh, drinking out of. It's it's mm. really. I have, <laughs> I have, I have a bunch of these. It's light negative. <laughs> I didn't even light it. Yeah, I don't want to I got a bunch of these. So how Brandon. long do you keep the samples for? Like whatever samples you collect, and um, do they stay on site or do they go somewhere else? Like most of the samples. locations to compare samples. At the kill, you know, most of the samples get get returned, um, and and that's sort of the, there. There are Hawaii, native Hawaiians who feel uh, that if you're you know the the, the 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 rocks that are coming out, the lava's coming out, are Pele's children. And if you're stealing the rocks, then she'll get jealous, and you know, because she and her sister are fighting over this 
lover, wow. you know, the person that they both love. And so the sister is a goddess of the ocean and she's a goddess of fire and they keep fighting back and forth. And so they try to keep the sisters calm and not at each other and not pulling each other's hair and doing bad things mm-hmm. to each other. And so if you're yeah. they so so there are people that say, well if you're taking the rocks, taking the lava, you are you might anger Pele. So the agreement wow. is that they're used in a lab and then they're brought back. And if you're a volunteer in one of the runs, oh. you get a backpack full of rocks you then throw back into the Oh. Hmm. So you know, it turns out, by the way, it turns out some of the stuff is actually kept for a long time. Um, okay. So. Like, what's the maximum time you've kept the stuff for? Like years or like? No, well, hang on one sec. I, I, is this true or not? Because I remember back in the day, and I learned this watching Brady Bunch when Greg got the little totem from when surfing thing and got into you know accidents because of the bad juju with it. So that's that's a fact, right? <laughs> yeah, Brady, yeah, Brady yeah, Bunch is, 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 is a fact. Bad juju. Sure. Remember, remember the little toad? The, the, the Hawaiian thing that he got, man. Yeah. They would have yeah, put. Bad. They would not put it on the Brady Bunch if it wasn't a fact. That was a whole very whole yeah. family hey, or show. If Brady it Bunch wasn't in Moana, it doesn't count. Uh, it was one my question. How long? Oh, go have, ahead. What's the maximum yeah. time you have kept this? Kept the samples for? You're talking about the sample that's taken. Not, not the, you're talking about that the long longest time the sample has been taken and held versus just the age. Um, well, the you know the Jagger uh, Volcanic Observatory started about a hundred years ago, and they have they have samples going back uh, a century. But um, I guess it was when the Hawaiians were not really verbal about their you know well. Um, as long as they're being used and by the way they're being used on site uh, so they're not not, uh, not as if they're uh, uh, for the way and what's the oldest sample you got like you raised that so i will ask well um the 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 observatory has been operating for over 105 years now so i think nice. the oldest they have i mean there are there are probably our catalog samples that you know pre that time where people you know took stuff um, mm-hmm. But in terms of, of regular samples for rock samples and in geology, it goes dates, dates back about, about a century. But again, obviously, that's that's on the on the surface of Hawaii. Um, the mm-hmm. oldest, I think, the oldest rocks at the surface are around twelve thousand years. Oh, uh, the, the the I mean, because because Hawaii is a very very the big islands very young, right? Um, you know, Kilauea came up. Uh, in the last hundred thousand years, uh, Mauna Loa came up in the last uh, several hundred, you know, two hundred, three hundred thousand years. So, so it's a very, very young island, right? And so they're yeah. not very Yeah, two thousand years is young, isn't it, as compared to other to the yeah. islands? Well, the Earth is only yeah. six thousand years old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twelve thousand year thought, old rocks and well, Steve, like six thousand. That's a causality. By the way, look, by the land and sea. Look, I have a lot of these different cups. Wow, so I'm not just drinking <laughs> over the same cup. I have one cup for coffee. I have one drink for water. Then I have one for like whatever, and then I have another cup that I use for coffee as well. So I keep these, them separate because the, the water one, the water one has little stains right. in it. You can't see it, but I like <laughs> okay, to keep the yeah, water one in water, right? And the <laughs> coffee gets stains. Water. I, so I, I got, I got, I bought a whole bunch of stains. Green, green. Yeah, how do you, how do you tell the difference? Yes, you got to trust me. You don't know I have long hair. Hey, Steve, what's up, bud? It's been a while. Uh, what's going on, man? Yeah. Uh, yes. Steve. Yeah, it's another Steve. Uh, well, Steven. Hello. Well, I, my name's Steven, too, but I don't go by that. I, my mom calls me that. You can call me it. I don't mind. Like Stephen. I like yes. Steven. Hi, Steven. Oh, I love that. Oh. Hello. Hello. Not many people call me Steven. Hello, another Steve. How are you? Are you calling? We have another Landon. Yeah. Guess, guess it we have another Landon in the chat, by the way. Yeah. Hi, Landon. <laughs> yeah, I was confused. I was like, was it our Landon who was typing, or was it the other? Like, yeah, so, so the other Landon. What are are you named after? Anyone, or they just like the the name? I think so. They're named after you. He's named after you. Yeah, named after you. <laughs> I was named after Alf Landon. No, there's somebody named after me. That's a Landon. But, but who's the other Landon? Actually, two. There's two people. Well, I'd be um, surprised one, if they were named anything else. One's a uh, a son of an ecologist, and another's a a, a son no, no, no. Of a, Who's the other Landon a... in here? Yeah. Um. Well, in, in the chat room, there's Landon. Um, oh, in the chat BB. room, we don't watch yeah. that. BB. No, <laughs> yeah, who cares about those people? Screw you, chat. We don't like you, chat. So, <laughs> anyway, if, if, if you're named after a I love Landon, the chat. you know, put in a, and you feel okay, put in the chat who you're named after. I was I was named after Alf Alf Bridge Landon. Yeah. 
We have the best. Okay, so oh, Mike says swag oh, is stuff Alf. we all get. That was swag. Is that true? Uh, hmm. Yeah. Swag. Hey, there's also, want, no. there's I, also stupid wild ass gas is another one. <laughs> <laughs> Landon, I have a see, question. See what I did like secretly? I just yes. like found out Landon's whole team. So I, see? see wait, wait, wait. Manya? Oh, Manya? Not a secret anymore. Manya, are you doxing Landon? <laughs> She's typing, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I heard typing. typing. I, I heard typing. We talked about this. Do I not take after fire. Do not dox people. Do not. When, <laughs> if you're typing, you're doxing, man. Being drunk doesn't and count. Acting. And acting. No, I'm not yes, and acting. I'm not acting right now, so I can be. <laughs> that's a, that's a no. plot twist. Well, Mommy is behind the whole thing. Oh. She's a master hacker. She's got yeah, a master's degree, master so mind. she might know Everybody. how to hack. And, and you know, we got a mat. Landy, you, can you hack? Can you know how to hack if you needed to? A lot of master I, debaters I, I, in here. I I, 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 I'm like hacking. I, mean, I, I use, I use hacking in the, in the traditional sense rather than the, the media sense. Um, I just I guess the pop. I, I, I try to block system crackers, but I'm also a, a classic. Well, I've done cracking. That's... I've never done hacking in my life, but I've done cracking. But that was years ago when it was yeah. really, it was a lot simpler, you right? You, that, that's block, a, that's block like your, 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 your elite yeah. coder, right? Yeah, and you've got. Well, so, well we would, so, what yes, I, I, for example, like, like a game like Eye of the Beholder. I wanted like you know gold and stuff. So I, what you do is you dis disassemble it basically using soft dice, find yeah. the the offsets and the hexadecimal and the subroutines and assembly, mm -hmm. and then you just change the the you just patch it. You just put a code yeah. thing. Yeah, hey, cracking is a word in in. And you do the same thing for software stuff. Breakdown of for a passwords. large alkane into smaller, more useful alkenes. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's what we're talking system, about. System crackers are people that crack systems. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like crack codes, they, they so forth. Hackers are people that are lead coders, that are they're into sort of the. Uh, I mean, it's it's part it's of hacker right culture, there. subset Javis, of nerd culture. JavaScript. Anyway, so, so, so I don't know C and I don't know Java. Yeah, sorry I'm, for interrupting. Carry on. So so Landon uh, is, is is saying he's named after uh, 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 Michael Landon. So and I'm named after Alf Landon. Was the guy that ran against Roosevelt in 1936? In and Michael Landon was the dad on Little House on the Prairie, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he dead. And <laughs> Landon, <laughs> just, just so Landon. Off, so off Landon. Yeah. Uh, Landon is also two words. Land on. So all right, who ran off? Sweet? Hey, who, hey, wait, wait, hey. who ran off? Sweet yeah. Monty, was that you? Did you run off, Sweet? I think so. Oh, on, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was the Alkeen joke, wasn't it? Yeah. I, 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 Still, always much. those damn Alkeens. Too I, much chemistry. By the way, I care about the chat. And, and I love I'm, the I'm chat. Grateful the, I'm grateful for the person that is that is feeding me the, the, the chat on their on their remote screen for, through VPN because uh, then I could see. Oh, sweet here. still here. She's Susan. muted, but she's here. Susan, does, she Susan doesn't like have me. Have a look at her. Like, you know, sweet voice. loves you. Are you kidding me? No, no, Susan doesn't like me. Who's Susan? Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'll be YouTube right back, Sorry, oh. I left for a second. Susan hates me. I will be right back. I had, I had to pee. Can we just leave, your, right we just leave your photo on the screen <laughs> while you're gone? Is that cool? What? Nothing. That's an excellent <laughs> headshot. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, thank you. We just want yeah, to we're using it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, just we're going to yeah. white box this her. So. so this is white box yeah. sweet when well, she's gone. Um, yes, a lot of people confuse Landon with my name and they put London on there because they're or they who land in with an E. Um, oh, that's autocorrect doing the bullshit, yeah. <laughs> well, or 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 people not paying attention. Hey, Landon, I'm out of my scotch, so I need to go get something to drink. Should I get my 2014 Seven Deadly Zins or the Ooh. very last Mathis Hard Cider? You know that Mathis hard cider would be a good thing to celebrate with. You you want to that that's that's that cider needs to be drunk, right? Not it's not Fair a library. You're it's not it's meant so, to be so. drunk, not drink, yes. oh, but it'll, drunk. It'll get mm -hmm. you drunk. It meant, it's meant to have been drunk. <laughs> so, it's so, meant to get that's been drunk. That's I, I had the privilege of having. Voice. I've been having, I like had, had the privilege of having that Mathis hard cider, and it actually was quite good. <laughs> uh, he's he's a, he's a he's a confident cider person. Been, it's it's a funny. You should you should tell him the story about what what, what his name is. Like how, why is it 
<laughs> okay. I haven't had the cider, but I've had the seven deli zins. It's pretty good. It's okay. It, it's it's you decent. Did, no, did the, I the, the cider is mine. Yes, what? you can. And I'm not going back yeah. on camera because apparently my uh my photo is better than the real thing. So. Oh no, not even. Who <laughs> <laughs> no, told you that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nobody nobody said that. They're equal. They're equal. I'm begging you. Yeah, sweet. It all depends cool. on what you're actually wearing right now. Or not wearing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to go get that uh, last cider and we'll I... be back in a moment. And then he'll yeah, tell the story about why it's named. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Okay. okay, so what would you choose? An IPA or a cup of Arak? Well, so I don't no, know what the that? second one is. I'm going to go with the IPA. <laughs> what? I would I would never I, go for I, an IPA. I like... so I'm going to go with the first one. I that like is the first ideas. one. Yeah. You're drunk. <laughs> You're drunk. Go home. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other one, then. <laughs> the other, other one. Not the I love first all one, but beer, the other one. As the long as it's not... I love anything that's not overly hops I... dominant. Like, if yeah. the hops are dominant, I don't care for way, it. Not but if it's, it can be hoppy without it. Yeah, otherwise. Well, the, well, the IPA, it has to hop in. But yeah, but a single yeah, IPA is good. Uh, the double IPA, I'm not a fan of. The triple's horrible. Yeah, well, with the Arak, it's tastier and the buzz is much more, a little more stronger. It's those Arab beers, isn't it? Uh, it's not Arab beer. It's more Arab. It's more Lebanese liquor. There's a difference. Um, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Well, yeah, so you because the number of Lebanese aren't Arabs. Well, Lebanese aren't Arabs in general. So. <laughs> okay, <absolutely. laughs> yeah. and there are there are Arabs in Lebanon, but Lebanese are collectively not are not Arabs. Exactly. Yeah, like, you know, when I was when I was in Beirut, there were very few people that had. Good God, where the were, hell you know, have you been? Lebanon. Was this before or after the Beirut bombing? Um. Yes, and and <laughs> <laughs> and don't need the question. Can't tell you that. I'll have to kill you. <laughs> but but yeah, Be Beirut used to be it was an amazing city. It was very cosmopolitan, very, very, you know, uh, you know, tall to all kinds of cultures, beautiful. It was an amazing place. And Hafez al-Assad, may he rest in hell. If there's a hell, then he, may he rest in there. If he isn't a hell, may he continue to be dead. Um, you know, help destroy that. It's a shame. May he not come back in the zombie apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> well, 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 no, we'll let him come back so we can back. shoot him in the head. Well, it's no, decapitation, like... not shooting the head, decapitation. But shooting That's the fun part. On the head. Well, well, so, wait, are you a machete? Don't ruin my fantasy. I, I, I'm so confused. I thought you were on crossbows. What? <laughs> no, you get machete duty? We never had this conversation. We're having it right now. <laughs> well, yes. Well, I, I believe we did. I believe we, we have did. to have this conversation. I said I'm... I was small arms fire. I'm really more of a katana kind of girl, but machete's <laughs> close enough. Sure. Katana, oh, katanas would be cool, actually. Oh, I just got can, back. I, I'm lost. I can go mm -hmm. grab my machete. I like my machete. Oh, are we? Ooh, you have a machete? We're yes, all, we're all lost. Got so it. Good tricks with it. La Landy, Landon, so what is your weapon of choice for the zombie Landy. apocalypse? Which, by the way, the whole pandemic thing is just a precursor to it. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of sure. time. But, mm -hmm. sure, sure. Yeah. So what, what weapon do you choose? Well, 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 I've been watching Red Eye. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to take an angry like Australian as your weapon? Uh, well, that's actually a pretty good thing because because uh, you know Red Eye's algorithm is if it looks at him funny he shoots it, and and he likes to have like the 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 laser rifle with the uh, grenade launching thing so that they you, you zap them and blow them up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be nice. grenade launchers. You don't have any many many shots for it. So uh, Helios five dollars, Eric or Alrag because one of those is tastes like black licorice. And the other is alcohol made out of fermented milk. I like the black licorice stuff, like Sambuca. Um, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, that's good. And a set. And a set. Uzo. Yeah. Mm, Uzo. Is it Arag or, or uh, which which one is it? It's uh, Arak. 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 Yeah, no, I actually do like the black licorice type liqueurs. I think they're. Yeah, we used to yeah. do um, uh, Sambuca on gelato, is really good. Mm. Like, yeah, a lot oh, of yeah. sugar oh, in them, though. That's, that's the problem. Great. Can't drink yeah. a lot of it. It's so good. It's a dessert. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a, that's, yeah, that was my first introduction to Sambuca, was uh, oh. on gelato. It's really so, good. Uh, machete Sambuca time. Oh, hey. So, hey. so I could ask, are, are you from Lebanon or have you been to Lebanon? If I. Uh, 
I have never been to Lebanon. I'm not Lebanese, but the restaurant next to my job is a Lebanese restaurant, and I know the family, and I know some more of the dialect. Yeah, I've been trying to read the Arabic in your name, but it's never uh, Amir al Safar. Okay, or Steve. <laughs> 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 I no, don't feel bad. I've never been able to pronounce his name, so don't no. Worry. I used I used I've studied studied Arabic a, a bit. Because we we had went to uh, when we went to uh, Libya, and uh, in 2006, back when it was not as crazy, it was crazy because because Gaddafi was was a, was a nutcase. But but it wasn't as crazy as now. And uh, but so I started. You know, we we did a study of Arabic, but then it became inconvenient. Um, I mean, I one of the things that I found that was inconvenient to study was I was in a coffee shop practicing my my Arabic script. And I had a police officer come up to me, and and he saw who it was because you know, a former vice mayor and so forth. It was very embarrassed. He said, "I'm sorry, but someone reported <laughs> that someone was doing something funny, and I need to, you know, I need to, and and I said, well, I'm studying because I'm going to go to Libya, blah blah blah, and and it's all this Arabic thing. But but they saw because I was writing in Arabic and trying to practice, you know, the, my, my script and trying to think that that they thought I was doing something bad. And so that's and of course then I thought. Because I thought, well, you know, times when I need to do, uh, you know, have a long time, like on an airplane flight. But I said, no, you don't want to be out practicing Arabic on the airplane flight because then people will get freaked out. So what? Well, so I, I haven't really had an opportunity. Yeah, because we love because a lot of terrorists will sit there and practice their Arabic. You know, that, yeah. Uh, yes. Other than other than in, in, in Libya, we also were were. Uh, but I got to practice it in in uh, Western Sahara when we were there. Uh, the. Uh, for clips and also also uh, got to practice a little bit in uh, China, the Uyghurs when you were there for an eclipse. So, uh, people I, gave me dirty looks on I, an airplane I, when I was speaking Korean. <laughs> Hello was, there, sir. I mean, come on. Was it standard Arabic or was it a specific dialect? I was trying to do well standard Arabic, although I was influenced a bit by the the dialect of Libyan Libyan Libyans that have a specific sty Arabic style. Um, why? Why, why, why is it their dialect always sound like they're angry? It's, it's almost like like Germans. It's like they're always pissed off. <laughs> uh, well, and Italians know. sound like they're trying to sell you something. Yeah, or make love to you. <laughs> Russians always sound Same angry thing. too. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, Arabic's a very harsh language. Um, it depends no. on which country. Well, no, uh, it depends I, it on which country. Beautiful. Which people? Yeah. Like it depends I mean, the on the singing, the singing in Arabic is, is 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 gorgeous on there, and some of the yeah. people do the, the the chanting. So we can also do it. Really, it's a very, it's a very musical language. Yeah, Saturday Night Live Arabic is probably screechy, but but <laughs> I think real Arabic is is so, is, is so. Good. So my friend Kino, she th <laughs> I guess she likes my dominant voice when I tell Sweet what we're gonna what we're gonna do something like I command her. I think she finds that awesome. When does that happen? That yeah. never happens. I, I think it just happened. No, but the whole thing, I, I, I did it once. It was a, it was a practice run. <laughs> Steve, I'm seen. too goddamn scared to be a dom with her. Fuck me, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. You think I'm a she, what to She do? will fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, pff, bullshit. It's like, I'll say something. She's like, fuck off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hey, well, that's the thing. Yeah, you better fuck off. Yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm yeah. passive as fuck, man. Hey, I just want to so, know where that machete went because I was, yeah. I had questions and interest, and then it was gone. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. we moved on to the conversation, <laughs> so I moved it back. Uh, <laughs> but but it's, his his God's order to back such from his, with his. Such his from you, had a, you had you had it whipped out, yes, but I you have. just couldn't use it. God, what did you get, God? Oh, I, I got the very last math is hard cider on the face of the earth. So, nice. Because I make it, so oh, no oh, one else oh, has it. Name that way. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, I've oh, had there it. you go, I've, Manya. I've had one bottle. So it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so I make wines and ciders and stuff, and I uh, screwed up a while ago, like the very first time I tried to make it, because uh, hard cider is really weak, like 4 or 5% tops, and I'm an alcoholic, so I need more than that. And uh, so I put a little bit of water in it. And Sorry. the math is hard cider. I thought I had the math down. And then I realized I was working with about half of the amount that I usually do. 
So I had essentially doubled it and it came out to around 14, 15%. Zoom. And Good for so, you. so math is hard and it's cider. So there yeah. we have it. Uh, that's and I gave Landon the ball. That's going to work out really that was, well. That was, uh, yeah. that was, that was a cool. I, I love that cider. <laughs> I want that cider. I want that map. Give me that map. map. <laughs> there might yeah. be another batch in Why September. It teach, it teach. I, I, I hope I hope you consider making the same mistake. Mm. Yes, exactly. You definitely <laughs> consider it. Absolutely. But yeah, September, if uh, the lockdown doesn't progress that far or change anything about my source. Yeah. By the way, they 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 do some really that competent like that 33-33 blend. Oh yeah. You liked that, did you? Yes. Oh, Magnificent. <laughs> Yeah, that was a uh, 2012. I want to say, I, I think it you, might. Buddy. It's probably. Oh, on so, the model. I mean, he's being he's being modest, but he's a competent winemaker. In, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, money oh, is making Pinot Noir. Um, yeah. I have 15 vines of Pinot Noir in the vineyard. Ooh. Shout out, so, my favorite. Yeah. What? What? So what, uh, what? What? What grapes do you have? Say again. Uh, I know. What sort of what's your what that what are the types of grapes? You have several types oh, of grapes. Okay, for you. so um, there's about 15 vines of Vino Noir. Uh, I want to say 20 of Regent. Um, oh God, what else is there? There's there's about 45 of. Uh, we don't quite know what it is, but it's my grandfather's grape that he brought over from Italy and then planted in his yard, and then we took it and proliferated it, and then I want to say oh. There's probably about twenty Cabernet grapes. But do you have? I know any, I'm do missing have, some. Do you have peanut butter? <laughs> oh, I do have peanut butter. I have a stockpile. I was ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> I got peanut the water. extra chunky. Okay. I stocked up. You on, got a peanut butter. I, Everybody gets a I stocked butter. up on, which is certainly be the most fungible commodity that you're going to need for the zombie apocalypse. I bought all the fucking zo- all the Twinkies you could possibly get. From every oh, store. Oh, no, 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 no. I bought those are fungible 15 now. pounds of coffee. Mm. Oh, yeah. yes. I've got Death Wish coffee. Yeah. I'm a fucking millionaire. So, now. so God's Auditor and yes. Landon and Brandon mm. are so far winning the apocalypse meeting call. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh no, look, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look, if this is only a podcast, have the good stuff. Look, if, <laughs> Hi. if there's a zombie podcast. Hi. Oh, if there's a oh yes, yes, you're sorry, sorry, sorry. Miss Petty Man too. Miss yeah, Petty if, Man. If there's a, if there's <laughs> a, I'll, 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 you know why? You put it away too fast. If, if you there, oh, okay. pulled if it there, out. Come on, you have to have it. Ready, it and I guess he wants to uh, talk. If there's a zombie apocalypse, talk. I'm pushing all. Steve you always mo- talk. I'm pushing all you motherfuckers <laughs> in front, in front, and just running out. This is why. This is why. Fodder. This is why. You're you're gonna be out I might say I might say Lawrence because he in. has a Hello. fucking machete, but the rest of you are fucked. Oh, just to point out, just to point this out, I have a collection of knives and swords. I have a cutlass, uh, the machete, you and I have a I whole bunch them. of other. See, knives. I used to. I did for <laughs> a long time, them and them. then my ex took them all a long time ago. But I have a few things because so I, be I was a collector. N- yes. Knives, yes, you have to collect it. yes, Sur- you have survival to things, right? Knives, boobs. What, what, what what's going to be more useful? I have both. Uh, wow. <laughs> if I put on a few pounds, I could also have both. I thought Ken Hall. If they're boob eating zombies, though, if they don't like brains, him. they go for boobs instead. You're going to be a delicacy. Yeah, yeah, that's a big gift to you. Hey, do we really know what boob- zombies like? We just assume they like brains. We don't know. They could like boobs. Who the fuck? Everybody likes they boobs. They like boobs because yeah, this that is has real life. Dead live, it don't matter. Hey, that's it's a nice with boobs shirt. on them. Because if they're stereotypical, if they see boobs, they'll assume no brains, and I will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Strategically. It's camouflage. Her boobs are fucking camouflage, right? Yeah. But on the other hand, fake tits you can't armor. You can me. Yeah, I'm, that's true. I'm not smart. You yeah. don't want to eat my brains. <laughs> well, so, 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 so fun fact. So fun. Yeah, f- wait. So tomorrow, tomorrow's Easter Sunday, which was the resurrection of Christ, supposedly, and for Good Friday was on Friday. Yeah, yeah right. Explain this to me because I'm kind of curious. <laughs> There, there's like there's like six people that were maybe seven. I literally eight. joined the stream to not think about that. Dude. Hang on, there's like six, seven, eight <laughs> people that have risen from the dead in the Bible. 
What made Jesus special when the other eight did it as well? Because he was a zombie for a pretty good long guys. period of time. So was it length he, of time? Is that what it was? Yeah, he was he was he was a zombie for a pretty long period of time. But the other no, ones came back from the dead. Oh, they, the others, the others were. Peter others caused somebody to come back from the dead. Uh, you know. Uh, no, Jesus caused Lazarus to come back from the dead, and he chose to come back. Jesus from the did dead. Lazarus, oh, but yeah. Peter did did Doma, uh, Doma whatever his name yeah. was. And the thing is, Elijah. Hey, 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 Lawrence, hmm. you're the Bible guy. How many people came back from the dead and who did the raising? So, I mean, I can't remember all of them, but okay. So here's some uh, a couple of weird ones in the Elijah and Elisha cycle. So uh, Elijah raised the kid from the dead and so did Elisha. And then uh, when I forget which one, but one of them died. So they threw his you know body into, you know, just some hole. And then there was apparently something else happening where another guy was killed and they threw accidentally threw the body into the same hole. And that guy, his body touched the body of the prophet. So he came back to life, apparently. And See, it doesn't sound like resurrection is any big deal in the Bible. But it didn't it wasn't Samuel, did no. he? Come, he came, Samuel Samuel didn't come back from the dead. Samuel, uh it, it was pretty much his ghost. That, that's oh, effectively okay. what it is. Is any ghost coming back from the dead? But uh, Steve, Steve, well, Steve, uh, you're, you're yeah, missing yeah. the point. I missed the point. It yes. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many people rose from the dead. Jesus was the son of God. Nobody well, makes it, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, money, hang on. Wait, hang on, wait, 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 wait. That makes so it even easier for him. Special. David was You would think so. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, I know. But sweet, that's, sweet, that's, sweet, sweet. Coming back from the I'm dead. Son of God. Not much of a challenge. Didn't well, didn't Jesus like, also kill someone and bring him back from the dead when he was a kid or something? Yeah, so so that was that was in the resurrection itself is not the, yeah. the point. I, it's not that resurrection yeah. is the oh my god, like was, we have to worship worship Jesus because he resurrected and so that was the longest living thing. Zombie, that's why it's that just was, a different it's just one thing that was indicative to people of okay, like, hey, if you're special, you can rise from the dead. It's not that he's the only one. Nobody has ever said that like, Jesus is the right. only person well, like, I, one that ever rise yeah. from the dead. I, I it, thought, it, I, well, actually, actually, you know what? I thought I, when I was growing up, I thought that was the story. I thought he was the only one. I didn't know. Oh no, we, we no, I mean, oh, there's a lot of things in the Bible. I didn't learn so much later on the line. No, no, that's no. So, it's so, not so that big of a deal. Yeah. It's just one one thing and many things. Yeah, there there are ten people that came back. Raised from the dead in the Bible. Was it ten? Mm. I thought it was eight. Okay, we'll go ten. I think there's ten. Either way, it's far more than one. Worse. I mean, don't you think if you're the son of God, why would you beginning level? Stuff I mean, like, hey, well, it, I came back from the dead, but so the other eight guys. It's not just about that. It, it's unique. the miracles. It's the miracles he performed while alive. It's the walking on water. It's the turning, you know, water into wine. All those things: the healing the sick, the blind. Everything the combined. Lane. Now the people heal and, the sick and the blind in the lane. Doctors what? do no. that to heal yeah, the it's, sick. It's, it's also, <laughs> again, challenge well, level beginner. I mean, he should have gone for expert level. I think it's yeah, it's silly. I mean, just from saying, I'm just kind of curious. Outside, I mean, I'm just throwing. But it I'm out just there. saying, like, you can't. It's not that any one particular thing is like, oh my god, he did this one thing, so he must be the son of God. It was he is the son of God, and because he was the son of God. He could do all of these things. I thought he was God itself. And he is God. Uh, and he's not God. If, you're if you're a Trinity, if you're a Trinity believer, Christological yeah. controversy. Not everybody is a Trinity. Yeah. Believer. Trinity. Wait, 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 wait. Trinity. 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 Keep teach the controversy. This <laughs> 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 the Christological <laughs> controversy. Manya gave us a sticker for a dollar forty nine. Thank We're you, Manya. Popcorn. She must be enjoying this. Getting yeah. drunk. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, there are there are there are in the Bible are, are are more generic stuff like you know the graves open and then people walk you know rose from the dead and walked around that sort of thing. There's there's those sorts of stuff too. So you really have sort of like instances where people came back from the dead. Mm -hmm. So Jebus Jebus is the longest living zombie. That's what you're saying. So that's why he's known as the son of God. No, 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 no. Because no, no. doctors no, no, no. heal, doctors <laughs> heal. So what's the difference? Well, uh, oh, no, actually, no, hold no. on. I can come up with something. Yes. Go um. Ahead. So Jesus not only came back from the dead, but then he also ascended. So yep. those. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he, oh, went so he went. Wait. He went to speak. Well, he, the thing is. Uh, sweet. 
Sorry. <laughs> no, the thing is, is that none of, and I say this as some, obviously an atheist, like this doesn't mean anything to me now, but as far as I knew from belief from before, Jesus wasn't considered the son of God because of those things. He was considered the son of God because he was considered the son of God. It, that's called a tautology, yeah, by the way. Well, hey, <laughs> I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I mean, a little logical. It's lesson. a that's... bad. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a fruitless. It's a fruitless argument to say, "Oh, other people rose from the dead, so why is he special?" You can't so, do that. Yeah. Oh, you know, historically, it's not when it works. Why? The notion it, it, of him being many, yeah. 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 yeah, there are many jars of peanut huh? butter, but only one is Manya's. Yeah, yes. <laughs> exactly. Is, and the is one that, that wait, is, is that a sanctified is one. <laughs> well, the thing, about, the thing about Jesus uh, was that I got, was... So I got a white. Hey, sh- I got a white boxer right, for a second. Go ahead, Manya. Just go on, do your thing, Manya. Yeah, just, 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 take, take that peanut butter. Just take it. So Lawrence, go ahead. Brandon, shut up. Wait, wait. Okay, Brandon's way more creepier than I am. He's got the mask. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Hey, wait, I gotta know, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, tell the truth. How many gift masks do you have? <laughs> no, I just have this one. I promise. That's not a true gift mask. Right? I promise. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe him. He, he's not a liar. I believe him. I, I think he wants to buy one, though. Jackalope for $2. Happy Chocolate Bunny Day, everyone. Thank you, Jackalope. Oh, okay. So, Lawrence, you're, you're, you're about to give us some, some wisdom. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it uh, lay, lay down. Shot. Come on. Well, we, we only keep it around for this so, Bible stuff, man. I don't know fuck all about it. Well, well, <laughs> the the well, thing about Jesus is he was said to fulfill a bunch of Old Testament prophecies. Uh, and the, the thing about the prophecies is that, like... Either he didn't exactly fulfill them or they're not really prophecies in their historical context. So there's a lot of issues there. Mm. But at least theologically speaking, he was uh, said to fulfill a bunch of these old things. I mean, you quoted Moses a whole bunch. And in fact, the the whole, uh, you know, you know, the pericope adultery with the, the, the woman taken in adultery, that whole story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, at the end of that story, Jesus is said to write on the ground with his finger. And the quotation with his finger is actually really important because the only other person set in the entire Bible that is said to write, quote, with their finger is God. So it's a direct connection mm-hmm. to God. Was that the, was sorry, that sorry. the they take the same? That, that seems easy sorry, as fuck. Was, was that the, the yeah. only person who who wrote a quotation like that was God? What? He wrote the technology no, no, no. with his finger. It, it's all it's symbolic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so was that yeah. the temple story where you take the? But yeah. my problem is there. This like it's just like okay, significance of writing. What's wrong with adultery? Seriously. I mean, <laughs> where do we start? <laughs> but hang on. So, so you don't Lawrence, get like, Okay, I believe, I, on the relationship. I believe in loyalty and stuff, but what's wrong with a woman like with adultery? Like, I don't get it. Like, why are women are like so? Well, like, yeah. well, you, you have to understand ancient tribal culture and society. Yes, um, yeah. it all because it's a contract. Oh, it's the morality oh. of the time. It's it's a property contract. Because oh, it was. Oh, not, oh, it was I'm serious. Not, no, no, really, no, it's important marriage. because at the time yeah. it was yeah. not fruitful for spouses to cheat on each other. It was more fruitful for society for people to get married and stay married and oh. to have as many children as possible because that was what they were trying to do. They were so, trying to build their tribes to the uh, the numbers, oh. as many so numbers as possible. born outside of nuptials were like hall. Was it like it would it depend? Dead? It would it would depend. Uh, that's something that's more complicated to get into the whole specific uh, it, But it would depend on who you were, uh, quote unquote, bastard of. Uh, oh, to yeah. some people, if you were, as long as you were born of the woman, you were considered part of the tribe. In other places, if you were born of the man, you were considered part of the tribe, even if oh, you were yeah. outside of the wedlock. It, it, it was so yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that's um. Mm. But it was, no shit. But it was, Don't yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I still have to get into that. I've, I've seen two episodes. Yeah. Two Maybe episodes. we can yeah. discuss that when I'm not drunk. Okay, cool. Well, also, <laughs> no, no, it's a, good, it's a good question, Mani. I know like, that's like one of those things that it, it's it's mm-hmm. not that, um, it's one of those things that is unfortunately left up to interpretation too for a lot mm-hmm. of different sects of Christianity. 
So like Catholics may view that differently than other Christians do. Mm-hmm. And and how they, you know, yeah, work protesters it. might be like, yeah, they're part of the tribe anyway. Yeah, and I was raised under both umbrellas, so for me, it's like that was kind of part of what helped me get out of it was because I was raised under both uh, under a lot of different, a few different interpretations of what mm-hmm. different passages in the Bible meant, mm-hmm. and the fact that people could easily interpret them different ways was a lot of what was you know, leading me away from that. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. if it's absolute truth, how can you interpret it different ways? Like, mm-hmm. with the same, same, well, you know. Well, in Manya, well, also, in, in vino awesome. veritas, in wine there is truth. So you can ask those questions, especially when you're drunk, on wine. You still have <laughs> that it's the best time to ask questions. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Um... It's, 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 it's like, I'm thinking I'll finish it tonight. Mining is a really good game. Don't, you don't can go do it. <laughs> uh, Ted Flanders for $2 says, Jay was the first resurrected in a spiritual body. I, I assume that was Jesus. What is a spiritual body? Like, what's the difference between yeah. a spiritual body and <laughs> a regular that's more than yeah, so, yeah, you know, Jesus, so Jesus's body, when he was resurrected, mm. he was in his body, but even though his body had died, it was still functional he still had the wounds he had the wound in his side he had the wounds in his hands and his feet uh, but he was somehow okay well it, I would it, it's, a different, the same thing, so it's essentially a zombie either. yeah it's essentially a zombie but uh, where other people but they, they don't talk about that with i mean at least to my recollection with other people who are resurrected mm-hmm. they don't get into the detail of their wounds from their death uh, that might um, be right. yeah, they save that for the like... resurrection club where they all sit around and talk about it. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, I was just I was just sitting there and all of a sudden I took an arrow to the knee and um <laughs> I was down I and got I shot in the forehead. Yeah, no no longer a great one. adventure. Well, uh, actually Lawrence, uh think yeah, uh, you you've look in this well, Lawrence, you look in the second temple literature too, haven't you? Uh yeah, uh a decent amount. We actually have a show where we almost exclusively are reading Second Temple stuff. So, well, well, I think that's important because yeah. we also have to remember what resurrection meant to a Jew in Second Temple times as well, because oh. that also plays a role into it. Holy crap! Yeah, that's their crazy. context we don't have. Yeah. Like, uh, it's, yeah, okay. Resurrection just... is resurrection, damn it. Yeah, I always thought there's like one version of it coming back from the dead. Well, it's like you were dead and then you're not. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, well, well so, also so, okay. the so what well, about people like in today's time? Good <laughs> like... God, Manya, hang on. Let us hang on. Hang okay, on sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Manya's full of questions. It's good. Well, <laughs> Manya, water and bread. Well, also, Manya, you have to remember also that um, the resurrection, uh, bear in mind, this is Second Temple Jewish period, and Uh. apocalypticism was very prevalent in Judea under Roman occupation. Mm -hmm. So the resurrection wasn't just a symbol of somebody coming back from the dead. It was a sign also of God um, setting the world to right to establishing his rule on earth. Well, so if, that's if, what Christ, yeah. that's what that's what well, Christ was. Uh, well, according to Hinduism, there are like four periods of times, and if you add all of them, that actually equal to the age of the Earth, that has been verified by the scientists. Six thousand um, years. Uh, mm-hmm. No, <laughs> billion years actually. Now let me tell you. Like, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm familiar with Ken Ham and, and Hoven, you know. And after yeah, listening but- to Nephi, man, I'm, I'm <laughs> Chija Ch- Ch- basically fucked my world up, man, because now I'm reconsidering my stance on all this. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I've known Nephi for way too long, 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 long to actually you're come down on that. Um, stance yeah. on evolution, and I'm reconsidering my stance on that. She has an excellent point. You see how she prides me? You see how she treats me? And I like it. You did that to yourself. My Look it. what you made her do. <laughs> That's what she said. Steve, I didn't want to do this. Do. You see what you made me do, Steve? You see, this was all your fault. 
It is all your fault. Well, I'm on your <laughs> side on this <laughs> one. So, so Landon, like, do, do the yes. lava rocks, like, kind of help you determine the, like, age of Earth and stuff and, like, verify that in some way? Or mm, that's not part of your... Um, Research. Right. Physics, physics, and geology certainly are part of my my studies. Okay. Yes. See, he was getting bored. I'm feel, making him feel included. You guys are so hard. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm well, enjoying. We're talking stupid stuff, and he's smart. Mm. <laughs> we're all yeah. bullshitting. Imagine okay. a bar and sitting but, around the table. But if you want, if it's you want social distancing, distancing, yes. Tune in to Atheist in School tomorrow. And you'll see me. They'll make me read a chapter or two of Psalms. What what are we going? What Psalms are we going to read tomorrow? Uh, we're actually reading eleven Psalms tomorrow. They're all pretty short. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I look forward to that. Oh, That'll yeah. be really good. Hey, everybody in the chat, know that. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Check that out. What time uh, was it again? Did it's it's going to be uh, one p.m. Central. So whatever that means awesome. for everybody. And what what's what Psalm chapter are we reading? I probably won't uh, take one one twenty one through one thirty one. Awesome. Yeah. So we're almost at the end, and actually at the end of our Psalms readings, we are going to throw in the uh, the extra one from the Dead Sea Scrolls because we have a translation of that too. So. Oh, great. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Is that the yeah, one? I never, I never catch that stuff live. Yeah. Have a good time, everybody. You know, like subscribe and follow that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you assholes. Wow. Everybody listen to Mania. Always listen to Mania. Damn right. Yes. Mania, I would be needing a new friend here, by the way, real soon. So just to let you know. Ah. What, what you're you replacing wish. me? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's Steve Love. What do you feel about, what, what, hey, Monty, what do you feel about younger creationism? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ken Hoven is my lord. Sorry, and my brain's broke now. No, Monty is my favorite firework. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, There's Monty or drug mean? Monty? Because drug Monty is like Monty, but better. <laughs> yeah. No, Monty Monty is amazing on her own. First of all, it's just a different flavor. But better. It's a different flavor. Yeah. No, it's better. No better. It's, it's Manya. It's Manya. It's harder to steal me. He's working harder it's, uh, to steal It's Manya me. uninhibited. Oh, no, no, no. There it is. No, Stop by the way, I give you Manya unrestrained. I, I won't stand in your way. Trust me. <laughs> I still like sloppy Manya. Sounds like a sloppy sex mania. position. A sloppy mania. <laughs> sloppy that, mania. I'm gonna no. That's a drink. That's gonna be a drink. <laughs> I'm, gonna a drink. I'm gonna go to a bar. I'm gonna go to a bar. I don't know. Sloppy mania, please. There will there will be peanuts. There will be peanuts in there. We're we're gonna yeah. order oh, sloppy shit. mania <laughs> from the bottle. <laughs> yes. yes, I definitely have. I definitely have. Spicy peanuts. Peanuts. Hey, spicy. Peanuts. Hey, spicy peanuts. Oh, Wait, peanuts, peanuts, peanut what? Wait, penis? What are you saying? Ace no, no, no. What? Mania one oh one. So what is it what is gonna be in a sloppy mania? Sloppy <laughs> one. Mania, what's the oh. horsepower on that you're drinking? I see, what? I don't know. It says uh, <laughs> twelve percent alcohol. I'm All sorry. Right. I go. still get tripped out because I remember in college learning and studying Landon Kurt Knowles stuff. And here we are in the stream. What, what were you studying from Landon? With him. <laughs> wait, wait, what were, you, wait what, 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 what were you studying? I guess every now and then it's like, oh my God. <laughs> really? I didn't know who the fuck He's he was until a couple of years ago. I but I don't follow I used, no, prime numbers. I used to be such a big student of his stuff. I loved it. And I would... We, we would build computers and we would talk about all this stuff. And here I am in a stream with Landon Kurt Knoll and I'm talking about peanuts and penises. <laughs> <laughs> hey, question, awesome. for, question for Landon. <laughs> question for Landon. Oh. TCP, TCP and UDP protocols, where they're best at? Like, what's the best application? Like, what's TCP so, best for? What's the answer to this earlier? TCP is good for. For streaming data, when you want to make sure that all the data gets there, UDP is a case where where you're just trying to keep things up to date. Like for example, you're trying to get uh, machines to synchronize their clock and keep them 
keep like them, refreshing uh, stuff. Yeah. And so time. it doesn't matter if some of them drop on the floor or you're busy and, and the network's uh, there as long as eventually they get there. At, so, so TCP is really good for trying to get transporting data so with some like, level of guaranteed like delivery. UDP is good when the, when, the, when the application figures out if something's missing, right? So the way that you know, clock kind of work is if, for example, even the UDP drops on the floor, they make an extra effort to try and, and reconnect. Uh -huh. What's um, the hardware difference for both of them? Like, what's those, the those difference? Are software. They're, 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 it's all it's all software. It's all it's all how the network packets are processed. Okay. Um, there's really no hardware. I mean, there's there's more hardware requirements because TCP requires more processing and more buffering, right? Uh, UDP, you just BDP, you just send it over. TCP, yeah. you got to hold a window Yay. until the other side acknowledges it before you can release it. So there's so you a need bit more memory resources. for that, right? You would need memory. Yeah, and, for that. and other resources. According <laughs> to Bill Gates, TCP's more. Uh, Steve, I'm, shush! I'm, Landon's I'm, talking. Shush. Yeah. Do you know where you're at? Yeah. He is more is more nope. intensive to 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 monitor, you know, to, to maintain. Uh -huh. um, but if ADP, you know, if if the if all you really want to do is sort of send out data and or you know, broadcast out data, UDP mm. is a really, really low, lightweight way of, of transmitting information. According like to Bill me. Gates, you're never going to need more than 640K. <laughs> oh, why that? Where, where did he get that from? That, because that was conventional memory back in the day before they had expanded and extended memory. And he, <laughs> oh, he thought that you would never need any more than 640K. I remember. Uh, now, now, now he's worth $180 billion. And he got that wrong. Looking through a computer well, catalog when I was like 12 and just pouring over the most expensive, most badass computer in there. And Z20? it had, oh, it had K4? four gigabytes of memory. And I just oh, remember gigabytes. thinking, four gigabytes, holy dude. shit. Dude, I started How with four, you ever use that megabytes. much memory? Gigabytes yeah, well, and gigabytes. Younger than four gigabytes, Jesus. Voice. Dude, yeah. back in my day, four meg was considered to be huge. Have you, have you this used was like late 90s. Yeah, I'm talking about mid early '80s, like K Pro. Ever I seen wasn't there. Yeah. So okay, Grandpa. So <laughs> oh my God, Grandpa, bitch. Okay, okay I was man. there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't disrespect your elders. Right? <laughs> You're not I'm too sorry. big to take over Me. my knee. Uh, well, we I think I'm bigger than you, dude. Sorry, I'm asking questions. <laughs> Yeah, money. Like, Go on. TCP would be good for video streaming, right? Because you're just yes. sending. Yeah. I, I mean, but and they, UDP would well, be good for a company where they are interacting with one another on a server. Oh, well, like it? sensors. Like if you have if I'm into temperature temperature sensors, where it's not critical for you to have every packet and every chunk. You just want a bunch mm -hmm. of temperature sensors sending data there that you'll eventually collect. Um, UDP is 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 good for for that process. It's very lightweight, so a a a, a small low powered sensors can can emit UDP packets. They don't have to maintain maintain much state to to, to send out uh, the data. So, uh, Brian Stevens. So I had a project. Hang, hang on, hang, like, hang on, hang on. Uh, Brian Stevens <laughs> remembers where he had a first um, one gig hard drive. Motherfucker, mm -hmm. I used to work with twenty megabyte Winchester drives. That were that by the big, yeah. and they had what's called yeah. they had what's called an yeah. MFM, which uh, ML yeah. M MFM and RLL, which is run long length yeah. Yeah. Uh, controllers. Yeah. Run length, yeah, controllers. run length long. Uh, <laughs> the, the, we're we're so goddamn old school. You have no fucking idea, dude. Yeah, uh, I remember. We're, we're the only two goddamn people around here that used fucking punch tape for programming and and, and punch mm -hmm. cards. Punch tape. I didn't use. I had punch Did, cards. Do you use? I had punch cards for four grand, but all things on the table, I didn't yep. ever use them. God, floppy disk. I had them. I <laughs> I've loaded programs off of cassette tape. That was I remember the microfiche. Of course, dude. Punch cassette tape was high tech. I'm talking spools <laughs> of paper, paper that yes. punches in it. I never got back that far. Three K. It was three K <laughs> tapes. Sorry, guys, if I interrupt. No, you never. You never did ever. <laughs> I'm just hey, I, I'm old school. All right, you're on your way to hammered. You're good. <laughs> so it happens. Yeah, what was the question? I had. There's a like color question. monitor. Oh my god, you're rich. <laughs> I know, right? I, uh, I got a physics question. Mm. Um, how much? Uh, well, I was coming. I came across this video the other day. The only way, like, radiation can like. 
your cells can only be ionized if there's a radiation energy uh, produced by photons that had that the specific amount of energy to displace the uh, the uh, uh, the, uh, the electrons. Uh, how much uh, in like in scientific notation, how much energy would be required to actually do that? Ultraviolet X rays, and gamma rays that are ionizing. So whatever the energy levels for those. Well, are. but but he's talking about he's talking about ejecting. Um, like, like electrons, electrons. yeah uh, you can do that you, you can do light, the well. light light could do photovolactic if you're talking yes. about photovolactic yeah. then yeah light, I mean, light I mean, could do that I mean, but... if you consider for example what a what a what that's a, not ionizing a solar, radiation what a solar cell is mm. a solar cell is is visible light displacing electrons yeah, but he has to ionizing board. radiation I, I you don't get start getting ionizing radiation into your uv up in the uv range mm. yeah because uh, are, are you are you talking about in terms of of yeah what it what is it you're is a light be able to eject electrons, or, or what's the... That's a lot lower. That's, uh, yeah, that's in the visible spectrum. Mm. Yep. Yeah, because it's sort of related minimum to amount. the... False... Yeah, like the minimum amount. You just have to look where the energy uh, level is. I, it, I don't know it, the EV. I mean, aren't there, aren't there electrons that can be ionized with um, long uh, or, or basically fairly short old, uh, infrared? Yeah. Yes. Don't see why not. Right. Right. Because I know, for example, silicon sensors can um, can sense down to about eleven fifty nanometers, which is about free. Yeah, I mean, those, 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 below, those, below red. Those little infrared sensors you get from Radio Shack. That, I mean, those. Yeah. Those are heat activated, mm -hmm. so those are photovolactic. Yeah. Actually, I think yeah. the, the other they might have been cadmium sulfide cell, but um, how much is that in wattage per meter square? Ha. <laughs> Well, water is out of energy conversion. And fuck over, that. Water, water, water is over an area would be how much like sun radiation comes down. V squared. Yeah. Right. So if you're looking at water over area, that'd be how much how much power is going to be distributed over a certain amount of surface area, like the, like the surface of the Earth. One point six two times ten to the negative nine coulombs. That's the matter. No, coulomb is charge. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to say that? something. I do remember something from my physics courses here, people. So I mean, I mean, because I'm in example, physics two right now. So, excellent. I'm physics so, one hundred one. So, so, so it's typically, you know, solar. I mean, the common rule of thumb is that solar radiation on the surface is about one uh, kilowatt per meter. Yeah, one thousand watts uh, per meter square, if I recall correctly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but in terms of the amount of energy that required to eject an electron off an or and so we're talking about ejecting the electron off of the you know, completely ionizing the the. So I, I would say that the easiest to ionize would probably be one of the. Um, I mean, it would it would. You're not going to be. The, it's not going to be the small. You know, I think it's going to be like um, cesium. Isn't cesium going to be fairly? Cesium is yeah. that's why I, that's yeah. why I said cesium and cadmium and and there's like cesium cesium sulfide or something they yeah. use for these yeah. cells. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, is the doctors ask. I know the difference between power and energy. Okay. Power is wattage, <laughs> and energy is ergs or joules. I think it's ten to the seventh. One one is ten to the seventh power. Yeah. Uh, I think cesium is ten to negative nine. No, no. Power. I'm talking about the, the to convert ergs into joules or joules. There's, I think, oh. it's, I think it's ten to the seven ergs in one joule as a matter of energy, and then it's five hundred fifty four, five hundred fifty horse foot force, foot foot pounds force for horsepower. It's, it's five hundred fifty foot pounds force per. Um, yeah, one what horsepower. Is the conversion? What is the conversion? Why I don't. I don't know. Hmm. Conversion. And what is what is sweet leave? We started talking about physics. She's left. <laughs> Come back. Well, I, I gotta leave too. Uh, the wife's I, awake, I, and I gotta go hang out with her and stuff. So it's been fun, guys. But uh, thank you, buddy. I'm out. It's good right. talking to you, Landon. Not we'll too. get you back up thank here sometime. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ian. I look, I look forward to re be able to return and sample some of your great uh, uh, spirits up there. Particularly, oh, I'll, I'll bring you to the actual cellar, and we'll be able to pick something cool. fun out. Wow! Oh, that's sweet, Landon, have a go. All right, she see you guys. Out. She didn't yeah. say bye. Really? It's your fault, Steve. You, 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 you. She got a run. She said in the chat. So, so I am correct. Right. Cesium yeah, has the lowest, lowest ionization mm. energy. Um, yeah, it has the lowest ion. Three point nine. So you need a lower. So it doesn't take a high frequency to actually knock out an electron. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this is related to the whole 5G uh, COVID-19 thing. Uh, I could be wrong, but somewhere I think helium's the highest. Yeah, what's, like, what's what? Okay, what's what chemical is the most highly oxidative? Oxidative. So well, oxidative, you're referring yeah. to like the, it... like there's like there's only I think there's only one chemical that actually can actually be oxidized uh, or acts as an oxidation agent other than oxygen. So what is actually fluorine? The, fluorine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Landon knows his shit, man. Did not done. And then you all scrubs knew that. So basic so say like a non ionizate non non ionizing uh radiation, say particularly like Wi Fi or five G, which uh, would be ten to the negative twenty fourth power, that yeah. would not be strong enough no, to even no, no. No. Thank you, cause no. I'm hearing all this shit of people saying <laughs> this is this affects your immune system. No. But if it can't no. if it can't displace no, it, can't, it, 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 it it's not no, high enough it, to ionize. <laughs> Yeah, you, if you, you need to displace an electron. It's not going to. You really do need that. to start worrying about ionizing radiation up in the UV bands. This is why you need to protect yourself from uh, from ionizing your ultraviolet radiation, right? Because it can actually cause disassociation in the water molecules. Uh, it, so you have hydrogen uh, and two hydrogen and one oxygen for water, right? So when you have ionizing mm-hmm. radiation come through there, it disassociates, f- forms hydronium and hydroxyl, so OH negative and H3O positive. This causes damage to the cell because it changes the, the pH of the cell. We also can form DNA lesions as well called perumium dimers. But, yeah, the ionizing radiation is, is far. I mean, you have to have at least a significant amount of joules deposited to break certain bonds. So Yeah, like with radiation poisoning, it has to be ionized per se. Yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't be ionizing. Radiation poisoning is cumulative. Um, you can have non ionizing, you can have radiation sickness that's non ionizing, but it's um, um, what kind of what would it be? Um, let me see, 20 uh, alpha particles are 20 times, ne- neutrons are 20 times, betas are five times, I think they are. Um, yeah. Is that right? Is it beta five times? Yep, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember my, I'm trying to remember my radiological controls gamma. thing. Gamma, gamma is a one to one ratio. Yeah, gamma is a one, yeah. gamma is the, the unit set, so yeah. Neutrons? He tests me 20 times. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Now, if you're... If you're Landon doesn't believe I actually react- studied this stuff at one time. I mean, like, yeah. legit if, that if, study. If, if you need... If you need to, if you're working with a reactor, you need to know this stuff, right? This is not... Come on. Just don't ask me about sieverts and grays, because we never have used any of those conversions. <laughs> yeah, I was I was all on the RAS and RAS. Yeah, we did RAS, RAS and RAM. We... No, I mean, I had like later on look into baccarels and grays and cedars, and they're not that. I'm not sure why. Why? Why did I mean? Because one was, you know, one was, I guess, the the energy, and one was the well, baccarels are the disintegration, and then rems rems is retain equivalent man. So that's how much radiation is actually the dose level. Um, Yes. So when you're talking about um, rads, that's what the radiation is. But how much biological damage it does? The equivalency they wanted to say, okay, if you have gamma radiation. As opposed to neutron radiation, the neutron radiation is going to do twenty times the amount of biological damage. Yes. Okay. And so, so the grays are, are where grays are, that, are why, grays why? are like sieverts. I think it's point zero one gray for one sievert or something like that. Remember? So where did that? Why did? Why was I, that unit brought it's in? Some British shit. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> <laughs> I again, the sieverts and the grays were long after I got out of nuke school. So I mean, we yeah. never. I didn't have to learn the conversions, but I think, like I said, I think it's like a point zero one for sievert or gray or something. Yeah. Ooh. But it's based upon uh, disintegrations, I think, or something. Because I like, know oh, Baccarels were, but. Well, physics class today, you do have to do the conversion. <laughs> well, yeah, we had to do um, railroad track conversions. So you put you you, you put your the, your your thing on here, then your 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 number da- your x down here, and then your conversion factor. Then you did your cross multiply, and then you had to figure out you. you Mathematically, you can you know determine what something is by the, this little railroad for stoichiometric. It's called stoichiometric chemistry. Mm-hmm. I hate wow. that crap. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, because uh. we and those and those low level stuff because when you're talking about you know gamma pulses on on uh, the metals, right? And trying to determine the the effect as as you have yeah like changes the tensile strength gamma. of certain metals. Uh, yeah, yeah, certain um, metals. So we were sort of on more on the on the high intensity stuff. Um, 
such as if you have a device and and you've got a reaction and you've got a gamma front and you've got a a bunch of, of fusible material and you want to crush that stuff down you need to understand the effects of the gamma on the on the surface of the materials i hate hook's law <laughs> Uh, Hook's, <laughs> Hook's law. That's for vibrating a spring. harmonic. Uh, that's for her vibrating and harmonic spring. oscillator. For like spring. Yeah. For, for spring. Neg yeah. Negative K. Yeah. Wait, wait, negative. Wait, Hook's law is like negative K. Negative X times. Yeah. Yeah. And dampening. Negative K times God. X equals force. There you go. Oh, weight on a spring and Carol oh, yeah. yeah, which are harmonic for harmonic oscillation for a spring. Yeah, it's basically M times G only in reverse. I mean, I, I, I remember the concepts vaguely, right? I mean, it's just been so long ago. Well, what about, what had... about, what about Charles Law or Boyle's Law? Any of those? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not familiar with those two. See, uh, PV1 over T1 equals PV2 that's, over T2? That's, that's chemistry. And then Boyle's Law would be P1 V1 equals P2 V2? Yeah, that's P2? all about, yeah. Well, that's physics. Physics or chemistry? I pressure love, I love them. Pressure volume? Physics. That's physics. Yeah, physics. It's used in, physics is used in chemistry, but... How about Bernoulli's yeah. equation? Yeah. Potential energy one, kinetic energy one. Oh. Where you have energy. one half mb squared for kinetic energy, and then it's rho, uh, gam rho g h uh, over... No, wait. Oh, that's yeah. What is the formula for potential energy? And, one one and half energy and all that. Yeah, one half G H, and then for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. But so so um, but it's it's I think the volume is inversely proportional to pressure. That's that's the main crux. For I qualitative guess. analysis, as pressure increases, volume. Well, it depends. You can have isobaric, isothermic, iso... Yeah, depending yeah, I mean, on that. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. temperature also That'd be matters. isothermic, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then isobaric mm -hmm. is, 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 remains the same pressure. Um, yeah. Uh, iso. That's then, the root word. For like this volume of the square, uh, volume of a circle, uh, excuse me, volume of a sphere was what, 4 pi r squared? Yeah. yeah. Four thirds. Is it, is it four yeah. thirds or is it five, it's, five pi? It's, it's cubed. It'll be cubed. Isn't it four thirds? Yeah, cubed. Yeah, cubed. Yeah, four four thirds over. Square. Yeah, for circle it's yeah. r squared. Yeah. That's Man, when you're. Um, that's when you're. Um, what's yeah. what's for Bernoulli's? Then, Bernoulli's law is for figuring out when you have a given potential energy and kinetic energy. Let's say you're going through a pipe. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have water going through a pipe, and, the, and it, then all of a sudden the pipe changes direction. Goes down here and then goes further. You have a change of potential energy, or you have a constriction in the pipe, like for a Venturi meter. Bernoulli's equation tells you the volumetric flow rate based upon the potential differences and the kinetic differences between two points. So if you have Venturi restriction, right, which you have like a hole, what happens is you have to have more volumetric flow rate. So you have a decrease of uh, potential energy and then increase of kinetic energy. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, yep. uh, of course you do. This is why when you take a fire ho when you take a hose and you put your finger over it, it goes further out. It's not because mm -hmm. it increases the pressure. Matter of fact, it's the opposite. It's a pressure decrease, and so it's decreasing the pressure and increasing the kinetic energy. So it goes out further. Yeah, yeah you, you're just changing mm -hmm. the way the energy goes. Mm -hmm. You're not getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. How many particles in a mole of guacamole? Six point oh two two times ten to the twenty third. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's a part. That's how many particles in any mole of anything. You have a yeah. trick question. Hey, one mole and mole. Like They're like Steve didn't take Stokey Metric. Yes, I did. It's now, it's now defined it's as a constant, pictures. right? It's, 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 it's a constant. Actually, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. No. Okay, here's one. Uh, 0.5 kilograms of mass is hung on a spring and it stretches the spring by eight centimeters. Who the fuck no, I don't do any. I don't do ever do any physics problems. <laughs> I do concepts. Easy. I don't do. I don't solve shit. That's cheating. <laughs> uh, that's not fair. That's cheating. Yeah. Uh, that, that's just, just, Although no. somebody asked me a logic problem the other day and I actually got it right, so I was pretty impressed. But I don't ever solve problems. Uh, it's like p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm drunk. Really? You sure? Prove it. Yes, I, I look at the ball. I didn't like, know that. Like, That's not proof. 
That's proof no, that you man. may have poured it out. It doesn't prove you. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hey, you watched the whole stream. Hey, I poured it. I out watched. In the she, she, I just showed <laughs> up like thirty minutes ago. So. Hey, Manya, uh, I I see stuff still in the bottle. Ma, ma, okay, Manya, Manya, what's Kerchev's Volch's Law? Yeah. Oh, Kerchev's Volch's Law. Yeah. Aww, don't do that to me now. <laughs> so what's that? The, you got to give me a The vulture drop across a junction is equal to the summation of the, all the all the vulture drops across the, all all the junctions. The vulture's uh, Kirchhoff's current law is a, is the sum of all the cur current drops between all the junctions is, is equal to the summation of all the current drops from all the the individual current drops. Basically. If you add all the shit together, it's gonna to sum to one one thing. So it has to be it has to be equal. It has to be a constant. Well, uh, for every junction you have, you have to have a certain amount of uh, voltage drop, right? And you have to have a certain amount of current that comes out of that junction. If you add all the currents from all the junctions together, it's gonna to have what you put into it, right? Same thing with the voltages. They all have to total the initial amount of potential or, or e EMF or EMP yeah. that you had. What is it? Uh, electromotive force, EMF, that you had at the very beginning. So the voltage is 12 yeah. volts. You have to have a, you have to 12 volts at the very end mm -hmm. because of the voltage mm -hmm. drop, right? So Conservation of energy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's... Yeah. Sure, let's go with that. This, uh, that's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Well, conservation of energy is the fact that uh, when you have mass, right? There's a it's, it's like the relationship between no, energy but, and mass. Well, and voltage, isn't it? It's the same voltage thing. Voltage is your potential some, energy. So yeah, the summation of all, right? Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Manya. Yeah, here's an, here's another one. What's the difference between elastic and inelastic? Ooh. I'll I'll kill you. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll I think smash that ball. You um, could try. And an, an inelastic collision has energy that is actually unused, which is your um, it goes to heat. Inelastic. An, an elastic collision is a concept that where all all the heat all the energy is actually conserved, so you have a full transmission of energy from one source to the other. Mm -hmm. Well, with inelastic, well. All the energy's gone, but um, yeah, but some of it's gone. Heat still there. Yeah. 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 Elasticity well, is useful energy that you can use into something. That'd be, that'd, that'd, that'd be entropy. Yeah. Well, here's another question for um, uh, I'll and kill C. you. What would you say to a physicist who does not believe in black holes? I'll kill I would you. say I would say that 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 belief has nothing to do with physics yeah i mean what what hey, why do we care i mean we know black holes exist like, what, 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 what does that mean i don't mean i didn't I, 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 I mean, I be right but but um we've yeah, seen it, one we know that it exists yeah and so so yeah, so if, 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 if maybe what you're saying is that that a physicist who doubts that that raises questions about whether black holes exist I want maybe I... is it maybe is a different thing that you're asking than saying believing? Well, let's just say I know a certain somebody who specializes in physics says that they don't believe in black holes or oh, well, that, means they, they, that, that means they they're basically that they exist. saying that black holes can't exist or well not can't but but don't exist like it's not possible for well, uh, no, that, that's, black that's, holes. <laughs> not saying not possible just saying that they, they don't think that they do but maybe they th i mean do they think it's like dark matter because that's a theory out there but that's still a type of black hole it's just dark matter um, I never really asked them that. I just was like, oh, oh, "Wait, what the? the what's no, so when they when they first said I that, mean, I'm like, whoa, what the hell?'" Are, are are you really are you really saying that essentially that that the um that they doubt if black holes have been observed? Is that what they're or they they, um, they don't they don't they don't yeah, consider? Yeah, that's the most probable. Well, well, Lennon, yeah. now that you mention it. The moment somebody brought up that there was an image taken, there's like, uh, yeah, that's not really reliable. That's just, uh, yeah. I forget the exact word. I'm like, that could be something else. Is that what they're saying? Um, well, here's here's the thing. Look, if all if the equations show that mathematically a black hole should exist, if the physics are such that we know that there is a there was a type of of situation where you have gravitational forces so strong that all the world lines lead back to one singularity. Such that even light can't escape. Even if you go faster than super light, you couldn't escape a black hole. 
because if you even even if you try to to go fast, all what happens is if you go faster than the speed of light after you went through the event horizon, it's not going to get you out of the black hole. What's going to do is make you die faster, because mm -hmm. all the closed timelines lead back to the singularity. So you're screwed. That's why they say when you go into a black hole and you go to the event horizon, there's no getting out. Period. It doesn't matter whether you have warp drive or not. You're done because every path you go, any direction you go, all directions lead. Oh. To the center but, of the black hole, but but you might you might say yeah. that what's the what's the best evidence for why you know there there, there are strong evidence of why uh, for the existence of black holes, and so I could see if you if you if you take out this sort of belief and you say there's there's physicists who have questioned whether the evidence for black holes is strong, that would be an interesting debate. But I would do but, this, Landon. How about the black holes black holes exist or don't. Whether you believe them or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, and this this is how I this is how I, this is how I would argue it. Look, if you okay. okay, we've we've actually looked in the center of the of the galaxy and we've seen certain stars travel very very fast, right? So yeah. we can say okay, based upon what we know about physics, there's a certain amount of mass to be had in a very concentrated area. It's called Sagittarius A star. Sagittarius Sagittarius A. So A star. A star. Yeah, A, mm -hmm. a asterisk yeah. or A star. Yeah. 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 So. Sagittarius a, Sagittarius a star. We when you look at those those stars, they have to be they're moving rel almost to relativistic speeds. We know there's a certain amount of area that that there's mass in there, right? Because the stars aren't running into them, right? Yeah, the they're not running into it. They're they're going around it. So we know there's something there that has mass. Now, what happens when you have a certain we amount can, of we mass? We can measure the mass by by standard you know Antonian standard mechanics, mass. Right? So what happens when you Manu, What happens when you have a certain amount of mass in a Schwarzschild star radius? Where do you get? No, don't ask me. A the black question, hole. Please. A black. Hole. <laughs> a radius. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, yeah. so another thing you know, uh, people have heard about people have heard no, about no, no. E equals m e equals m squared, right? Yeah. yeah. But do you realize that 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 is the simplified form? Oh yeah. Of the equation? I've seen yes. the, I've seen yes. the full derivation because yeah because you, you mm -hmm. also have it, it starts off with the mp four raised to the fourth power. So so so, so yeah because because yeah. when you had momentum, the typical thing is you say e squared minus p squared c squared equals m squared c to the fourth is the is the thing because because p is momentum right? Yeah. So and then you're taking some that, that yeah you're level. making some assumptions about the values and then it reduces to m c squared yeah. Well, when momentum return, returns reduces to zero, then you get e equals m squared. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I remember so. watching a number file video on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the question is um, for a layman. I'm just asking it for a layman, or maybe for mm -hmm. myself. <laughs> so, um, how do we know that black holes exist? Okay, the mathematics make it possible. What else? We have like, okay. we have, we have so, observations. Okay. Where we mm -hmm. can we can determine the mass, the central mass of things are orbiting around, and we can determine its maximum size because stars don't run into it. How do we observe the mass and the maximum size? Is it is it because of the the the, the rays reflected, like the wavelength of the light well, it's reflected? Kind of how we found Neptune, isn't it? The I would think so so that 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 we know the gra we 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 can we can see how the stars move around in an orbit and so we know the mm -hmm. length of the gravitational field based upon their their their, their speed as they're zipping mm -hmm. in and out uh-huh so we can measure okay. the gravitational speed by their by 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 how they 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 accelerate if you will going down you know down into mm -hmm. the fullest point and whipping back around so the elliptic orbits and and there's standard Newtonian equations you can do to measure the strength of the gravitational field so you uh -huh. know the mass and, you, mm -hmm. and then Relative, you can you can then calculate the mass of the objects, and we know that the Sagittarius A star has a mass of at least twenty one million times the mass of our sun, and we've uh, seen this we we've seen the star that's come in closest to the center and zip around and hadn't run into it. It didn't go bonk, right? It, it it came back around. So we know that whatever is there has to be smaller than uh, the than the closest point of the orbit of that star. And when you look at the, you say, well, they have got that much mass in that small volume. What's the escape velocity? It's greater than the speed of light. Ah, yeah. And that's but probably that's, the strongest. That's true. But even even if even if you could go faster than the speed of light, you still wouldn't escape. Yeah. No. No. So so if you had a supermassive, super super massive black hole like one of the, like the biggest one ever seen, which is 
gargantuan beyond imagination. It's, it's, it's comprised basically it's bigger than the, the whole galaxy. I mean, it's it's more massive yep. than the whole galaxy. Yeah, I whatever the hell it is. Um, yeah. What do you think is what do you think is the safe viewing distance for that? How many how many light years? Well, if it's not rotating, then you can have a stable orbit <gasps> that's three times three. If it's non-rotating, you can have a stable orbit that's three times the um, the the radius I'm of. We, we had a uh, wild right. vegan show up. I'm hallucinating, vegan. Is that yes, a wild vegan. Damn yeah, girl, what's up, girl? Hi. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. What's up? <laughs> oh, we're all, we're all, we're all, we're all chilling and having here. drinks. What's your, what's, what's your sign? <laughs> what, what, yeah, what vegan Come are you? Often? I, I, right. Hey, vegan, social distancing. Hey. I saw you across the bar. Stay there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a little bit of uh, IBC root beer and some Jim Beam vanilla. Ooh, Ooh damn. Yeah. Ooh. I like so, vanilla. Yeah. You oh just God. started. Hey, vegan. I'm drunk. Are you? Mm. Oh, she. Yeah. No, she passed drunk. She. She's on the next level. So, Manya so, is three sheets to the wind. So anyway, Manya, mm-hmm. that's that's a, that's probably uh, the the strong. So there are others. There's other evidence we have, for example, of other objects that are that we can measure the mass and the, and determine the density and 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 show. Um, mm-hmm. She ran so, straight so, off. By the way, vegan. But that's yeah. one. Of, that's really one of the the best ones that we know is that there. Okay, so like ago. what Steve asked, like if there's a, a, a what if it's a stable black hole, non-rotating, 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 black hole? non-rotating yeah, non-charged is called a Schwarzschild black hole. Yeah, if 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 you have that, there's a simplest case. Um, mm. You can orbit at a distance three times its radius. And have a stable orbit as compared to a uh-huh. Kerr Newton black hole, black hole, which has so rotation. a rotating black hole. What's what's That'd like you Kerr- can't escape that, is it? Then, then, is your, it then your then your stable points? orbit, stable orbit shrinks. Yes. And so if that if if the if the if the black hole ah. were orbiting just so that its 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 yeah, equatorial spot is orbiting just short of the speed of light, right? Because it can't be uh-huh. spinning faster than the speed of light. Then the then the um, you can have a stable orbit just right next to it, but not touch it. Right? So like so one third it, of it, the it, radius it, or something like that? Actually, you could be skimming on the radius and maintain a stable orbit. Oh. If, it's, oh, wow. if, it's, if, it's, if it's non-rotating, it's, it's at three, right? So oh. objects that are that are closer than three to a non-rotating black hole will eventually doom and fall in. So objects what? that are outside, if they're not pushed mm-hmm. into it by some other force, will mm-hmm. happily orbit that's fine. So, so what causes a, a non-rotating and a rotating black Dang hole? Momentum. Like, is it Dang the momentum. mass, the density, or what? How the stuff is it? If if the star was, let's say that it's it comes, it's been formed by a stellar collapse of a single star, right? The star mm-hmm. was spinning as mm-hmm. as it collapsed, it spins up faster and faster and faster, right? You know, yeah. like the, the ice skater pulling their hands in and starts spinning faster. Mm-hmm. Well, the same yeah. thing. The the star collapses, starts spinning and speeding up. So, mm-hmm. so. So probably black holes that are formed from solar collapses are rotating somewhat. The question is how fast. And then, of course, oh, as, as other stuff comes into it, it can add angular momentum to it mm-hmm. and, 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 and spin it up, we think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got so, it. so there's basically four different classifications, Vanya. You've got a Schwarzschild black hole that has no... Okay, there's though no hair theorem. Is, is, there's only three things that basically any black hole has for properties. Right. Okay. Angular momentum, charge, and mass. Yep. Okay. okay. So if it is non-rotating with no charge, it's called a Schwarzschild. Uh-huh. If it has rotating, no charge, it's called a Kerr. If it's called a rotating okay. and has charge, it's called charge. a Kerr Newman. And then that one's a non-rotating uh-huh. charge, and that's a Wrightster Nordstrom. But those are the different classifications of black holes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ba bum okay. bump. So what provides well charge? What's pro, like? What's the who? What's responsible? It has, for if it has, Sorry, I'm just coming from the layman perspective. If, if it has an actual charge, like in Coulomb's, you know, has a certain amount of static charge or whatever. The, if, it, if it had, a, if it had a lot of protons and le- yeah. not enough electrons, mm-hmm. yeah, so it's electrically charged, not net, class, not net n- neutral, yeah. If, if okay. it was charged before it became a black hole, it's still charged afterwards. Still has a oh. has, has electric field. So it doesn't stabilize after that. That's what you're saying. No, but the interesting thing on a on a charged rotating black hole, the singularity forms a toroidal shape, which I think it actually passed through the singularity in theory. 
Mm -hmm. Now it's not very big. And from what I understand, mm -hmm. most black holes, even if you have quantum entanglement in any photon that goes through an EPR bridge or anything like that, yeah. it's going to collapse it. But, uh, Mm. But yeah, the singularity mathematically changes shape, you know. So, yeah. so if, you had a, if you had a charge object and then mm -hmm. you squish it down, because remember, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. black hole is is it's 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 a high density material. Yeah, right? very high density. And so and so and so if it was charged before it was high dense. It's still charged afterwards. You still have a. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, is, we don't even too much charge and. Hang on. I, I don't. I'm not convinced it's actually material. I, I we don't even know if it's material in there or not. We don't. We don't so, even know. So what it's comprised I, of. I am. I am not persuaded by the arguments that what is in, uh, what is beyond a black hole of end horizon is a mathematical point size. I I don't see anything in the physics that that says it must be zero, volume. Mm. You don't think you don't think it blows up kind of thing the mathematics it's great it's, it's quite possible there are physical processes that prevent it from collapsing to a infinite density by the way we, we have don't know how, the, how different laws behave the physics oh system. hey we had a wild nick up here he, he saw vegan. He saw, ve he saw vegan are, are, in here. Are and you? He's like, are you? Oh, are you, yeah. still, are you so, so this is proof that you're alive, or is this a projection? This is proof of life. Yeah. From, from you, look so of life. <laughs> you look so much better. Nick. We miss you so much. No, Nick. no. Your camera's a little look, high, though. He still looks like fuck hell, right. fucking hell. But at least he's alive. Okay. <laughs> but, but I understand. Everyone's gonna, gonna be honest with him. I look like shit, He's also a lawyer, so he has zombie status anyway. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so glad I came. The shots below the belt start in 10 it's seconds. It's because we in. love you, Thanks. man. <laughs> we, 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 yeah. uh, well, don't pull any good? punches. If, you, if, oh, if this is love, I'd like to be loved just a touch What, what, what is but love? Thank you yeah. so well, that's okay, Nick. I, I'm a politician, and they're they're even lower than lawyers. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, um, you know, it seems to be two steps forward one step back i was actually better mm -hmm. yesterday i'm a little worse yeah. now i'll probably be better again tomorrow but i had a... you're not resting are you you're just i've, I've heard that, that, that it's I, i'm sorry i little. she was breaking up what was the question she <laughs> sorry that's she's not breaking, breaking up she just up. sounds like that because she's drunk. I was like you're still working you're not resting that's why it's two steps forwards and one step back uh, my wife drinking. made the same argument, and you're both wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh... No, Nick, Nick if it makes you feel any better, really Nick, if it makes you feel any better, I'm a quote unquote essential employee having to deal with unstable people behind a cash register. So I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah, well, I, my wife is an essential employee having to deal with unstable people at home, but. She's got the. Uh, <laughs> she's got so she's an essential employee. So she's actually got the letter from the state. So I was like, I think we all need to do an essential Duncan run and pick up some coffee. Um, I think yes. we need to use that card more often. But that's Absolutely. me. Good night, Mister Serious. I'll see you guys later. I had fun. Night, Serious. Right. Later. Right. Stay Talk safe, Serious. You don't panic too much. Yeah. Hi. So, so Nicholas, no, seriously, I, I'm glad to see that you're, you're, in your current peak. Is this like, is this like your third recovery or? Fourth it's my. Recovery? This is my fourth. It I gets think, either uh, easier every time. It's supposed to. The, the doctor said that th this was going to be my last go. He, we mapped out oh, the whole thing. Oh, he's going to die. Well, that, I, yes, actually. <laughs> He said, he said basically I was gonna either recover or end up in the ER. I actually ended up in ur I ended up in urgent care well, you know, triage, really but I didn't quite ER. Nick, 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 when a doctor yes. tells you that you're either gonna recover or die, he's not a really good doctor because there's not many other options. But if Nick, if no one observed you, you can be in both states. You mean this quantum state? Hey, by the way, Landon, ten resurrections. If he makes it, if he comes back, that's eleven. Yeah. E G bus. So I have only if he's really corona. living, though. E G bus. It's Schro it's Schrodinger's coronavirus. I will say this, and I did a piece on this, but I I was I was really sick when I was doing this piece, and I don't know that I want to put it out yet. But Cuomo's brother um, uh, is a, a pundit and reporter on CNN. He's got it. 
and he talks about it and his experiences were roughly similar to mine but one of the things that he says and this is true everyone always says <laughs> sleep 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 stay in bed do all this yeah, other stuff that's... that's all completely true that's true with one exception you need to go out and live some you have to do the things you want to do don't overexert yourself be very careful that you don't do that Preach. i'm not, not doing that but if i don't talk to people if i don't get out a little bit if i don't get out of that bed some practice breathing do something to remind myself i'm alive it actually gets a lot harder and he, he did that well so I'm practice here. Yoga. now they I'm, say that yep. everybody's going to catch it eventually so if i go visit you and you've already had it so you've had the antibodies do i like just make out with you or something so i get the antibodies <laughs> so i don't have to like, <laughs> well, well i we yeah, we, we already put that on the that. table <laughs> we put that on the, yeah <laughs> That I was already on the table, funny. and I chose death. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Aww, oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, but I'm really, you. again, seriously, I'm really glad to see that you're at least smiling and attempting to crack jokes. Attempting. Thank you for that. Yeah. I, I, did not I know. He one thinks he's noted, funny. But... He's, he's feeling better. better man. He has a very dry better. sense of humor. Yeah, I know. When, he, when, he, when he's actually thinking he's funny, you know he's feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, that was the other one. My wife wasn't thinking about the ER until I stopped with all the dad jokes. She's like, okay, something's but really serious. My question is, did the doctor suggest how you contracted it? Like, you, you, I think it is. Yeah, I was prepping. I was prepping for the apocalypse. You, you, I was practicing social distancing. I was doing everything I was supposed to do. And then I said, "Hey, might need gas. Don't know what's going to happen." Went to the gas station. I was smart about uh -huh. it. I didn't go in. Yeah, you, you see you, what you happened. Know how, you know, you know, you know. The only time I was concerned. So you didn't wear gloves or masks. You just went in there and you got your gas, and then like. The only, Nick, the only time I was concerned is when one, <laughs> one of our mutual friends uh, had told me that she was concerned because it didn't take you two hours to describe how you were feeling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, when when my sentences start getting really short and I'm not bloviating and talking for 16 hours straight, that's when we're concerned. Me, so that's that's like, wait a minute, he's answering in yes or no's. Something's wrong. So, so yes, yeah, so so you yeah you, you you know at some point some virus said yum and 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 went. To yum. <laughs> but if we're all gonna get it, I mean, hopefully by the time like I catch it or something, they have like. You know, well, secure. Steve, here's here's the here's an important point. They talk about flatten the curve. What they don't tell you is the integral, the value of the integral is about eighty percent of the population. Seriously, or somewhere there, right? The well, value yeah, of the integral, yeah, and the flattening is of the curve is just to, to reduce the load on the hospitals. But the integral that, is still there. Uh, yeah, you're still going to get eighty yeah. percent of the population get the virus yeah. eventually at one time, at some point in time. Yeah. But here's the thing you need to remember, which is how many other people, uh, aside from, uh, Steve's right, it, it's the load on the hospitals. It's not right now. Yeah. If somebody needs a heart transplant and you're in Italy, you're not getting it. If you yeah. need dialysis oh and it has to be done at a hospital, you're not getting it. So we yeah. know the coronavirus deaths, but here's the question. How many deaths that could have been prevented by easily manageable conditions? If you have a complicated pregnancy, yes. you are on your own in Italy right now, period, really? end of discussion. Yeah. Yes. They won't so, even, they're triaging. They're, it's triage, oh. and it's 99%, it's unless you are dying of something. So it's a bad no time to be attention. sick from something else, really? too. Then. Yes. I'm going to so, cry listening to that now. Well, and so my only so if you flatten the curve, you reduce the number of deaths from that mm. kind of thing in particular, whether or not we COVID already had treated, four deaths yeah. here in New Zealand, and we are like, what the fuck? <laughs> I wish it was at four. So if you flatten the curve, we'll see if it's horrible curve. here, or, and then in Italy, like you're saying that if you need a heart transplant, then you're on your own. That's so sad, man. That's I'm, I'm going to go mass graves right now with uh, New York. Yeah, there used to be it was on New York. Is, it was like 25 per day. Now it's 125 per day. Yep. Um, they, were, they used to pay their, their workers from Riker Island a buck to a, an hour to bury the bodies. And, and now they're, they're not paying them any longer because they just it's it's just they, they can't keep up. They, they bought a yep. whole pauper's field uh, just just to carry the, uh, the have the weight load of, of uh, all this all the bodies. They're piling in them like, three deep and stuff. Yep. 
Yeah, so what you need to do is you need to have be in top of uh, one of the prophets, and then you can come back from the. <laughs> yeah, get buried on top. So they, yeah. If I die, I will leave as my final request that they throw me Stop. on top of Don't messenger reveals. I just want your room. Can, can, I, can, can I have your tapestry? I mean, if we're gonna divvy up your shit, we can might as well do it now. Yeah. Oh, 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 good. Well, it's nice to feel wanted. No, that's um, not. <laughs> well, we didn't say we didn't watch you around or anything, but that's a nice tapestry. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Steve. If you like it, and if I expire, you can't touch it. Um, <laughs> I, I can go visit a little. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Don't worry. By the way, yes, v v can. vegan tells me the same thing. You can't touch it. So I mean, I'm used to hearing these things, these phrases, an awful yeah, lot. I I'm looking forward to when when end times back no, on time, no. and uh, we can do that. We can do that uh, talk finally about oh, the nice. uh, impeach post impeachment. Oh, absolutely! Oh my goodness, impeachment! Yeah, you're missing out on a lot of good shit with Trump, dude. I well, I know. Here we are. Do, do you know that he doesn't I'm know the difference between a bacteria and a news. virus? Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just love one. Seriously, it's it's but, like yeah, like a layman would not know that difference. I'm telling you, it's, it's but, hard. But still, this is the thing. He was asked directly by a reporter um, <laughs> at what metric he was going to use to know when's the right time to open up the country, and instead of saying, "Oh, I don't know." Um, data and you know talking to researchers and economists and all of that he just pointed to his head he's what like, the oh, fuck seriously the he's I would, the I just know. Man in the world like I does he know. know that google exists like 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 does he know that there's a thing called google or you know Bing. Oh, he's the smartest person yeah, in the world. Why, no? and by the way, Google he's, is not going to make you smart, and he doesn't understand what the fuck he reads if he can't read right. at all. Yeah, English comprehension, please. Yeah, he has zero comprehension. Hey, but, look, I was one of those uh, anybody but kill Hillary stuff, and I can still defend that. And But here's the thing. I knew Trump was going to be bad. I said it from the very beginning. Did I know how bad? No, I'll grant you that, okay? I'm not going to say that I did. However, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I now I'm like anybody but Trump. I think I was like, I'm like Biden. Sure, whatever. I mean, he's a piece of shit. With sure, yeah. whatever. But you know what? He's not Trump. Like, yeah. He's going so, to get because he's so. No, way Trump probably winning. Before I thought Trump didn't have a chance. Now they pick Biden. Biden. Trump has a chance. Yeah. So yeah. DC so, pissed that shit away again. So how 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 much how often you're sleeping or how much sleeping are you doing per day? Um, depending on whether I'm on an upswing or downswing of between 15 and 20 hours a day. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's really good. Right, and, and, and are you, are you sleeping as in bed or sleeping as in a sleep, right? Oh, no, I'm, you're I, able to... Well, no, I'm passed out. That's the passed out in bed. And then, yeah, the remaining time is walking zombie. Oh, man. So, so, you're, so you're practicing for the walking out. dead. Is it? I'm sorry, what? Sorry, I didn't hear. I was like twenty hours off, passed out sleeping. Is yeah, it? yeah. It would be like well, or it would be ten. Wake up for a few hours, go back to sleep, and do another ten. Uh -huh. do another the, you must have. Do you have some medication to help you with sleep? Like you know, because no. if you have difficult, no, you you're just okay. So that's I, have breathing, I have breathing problems. If I take yeah. medications like that, I can stop breathing, so I can't take. Oh, the key question oh, is: yeah. Can you drink alcohol? No, well, I can't drink alcohol. Yeah, you know what? Anyway, just die now, then. Yeah, just, just. Yeah, I know. It's it's over. It's <laughs> yeah, not 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 worth going on, man. Just yeah. quality of life. This is quality of life issues. We're I about. I I'm actually just flattered that on a rum and coke night I can come even though I can't drink alcohol. Like, <laughs> yeah, we well, make, we make exceptions. We we do allow slummers. <laughs> Which is why I'm here. <laughs> He is to keep resting, Nick. But it really is good keep to see resting. you on, on camera there, Nick. Yeah. It's, good. it's good to be engaged. What are you drinking? Yeah. Vegan? Again? Oh. She I got the hard shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm she got the hard shit. IBC root beer with, with, with vanilla Jim something. Jim Jim, yeah. Vanilla, yeah. She don't mess Hold around, on. man. Hell no. Oh, she know. does not. Navy. I drink good. Navy taught us well. And it was so funny as we all had to go through NASA. <laughs> yeah, that well, worked. Speak for yourself. I'm not your Navy. Ah! 
<laughs> your Coast Guard, who pays your check? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Times of War. Right, Coast, Guard. Coast, Guard, Coast Guard is part of the Navy in Times of War. She's a friendly. Mm. Friendly. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm selling tickets. I'm selling tickets. I'm just saying I want to watch this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he likes to watch. Space, say... everyone talk. By the way, uh, no, that's for a private Patreon only hangout, okay? Oh, son of a. <laughs> By the way, they're worth it. <laughs> Hey, look, look at my this thing. It's almost gone. Excellent. Steve, it's your fault. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Steve's Patreon just went up 235%. Right? Wow. <laughs> I, was I know what the hell I'm now. doing. Hey, hey, Steve, if you want, we can do the rum and coke behind Patreon. It will be much more lucrative, you uh, know? I don't have a problem with that. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying because people would want to watch me drunk. Well, we we could well, you know, I was going to take this off air anyways, but we're going to hang out for a while. But members, I don't usually do much member stuff. But I do every so often have to give them something. So members and yeah, patrons you don't. message me and and uh, you can come in. By the way, what's what happens off air stays off air. Just FYI. Yeah. Can't be held responsible. Yeah. Yes, it does. But, but uh, I like the off air stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we are going to come to a close. But uh, um, this was fun. This hey, was anybody great. have a problem with me? What I'm talking about? Nobody will on ever. <laughs> Mondia, you can do no wrong. You have like the you have like the the free pass of life. You know. <laughs> so anybody fucks with you, they have to like fuck with everybody, man. We were like, yeah. <laughs> man, <laughs> we'll, we'll take their ass out, man. All right. So good night, guys. Enjoy your your Easter Sunday tomorrow. Don't go to church. That's not because I'm agnostic. It's not because I I'm pissed <laughs> no, off no, at no, no. new atheists. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Just don't go to church because it's not the t- stay home and do it your thing, right? Stay Just yeah. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Shelter in place. We don't have hangouts, <laughs> man. Like this one. Like but, yeah. and, with we can all pray I, right I, now. I, I, see, I, you know. Is it but isn't Bundy is he gonna have some big church service in ten, Idaho? Ten the... buddy? Bundy? He's dead. No. What? <laughs> He's dead. No, I'm in Bundy. 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 Al Bundy? Bundy no, and, and the guy, the guy in Idaho in, in, in the Panama oh, is going to have they also go to jail for church service because, yeah. because you know the government is is is. Oh yeah. Oh he, uh, um, yeah. I know back who's talking about Bundy Ranch from the yes from the Bundy Ranch. He has decided that mm-hmm. uh, the government doesn't get to tell him he's going to stay indoors, so he's going out. Yeah. Where he in fact wants COVID. Oh. Somebody please so like this. And with that please. note. I'm going to go make another drink, take it off air. Like I said, if you're a member of Patreon, message me and we'll try to get you in. But I'll hang out for a while, but uh, we are going to go off. So cheers, guys. Good night. Cheers. Be safe. Cheers. Social distance. El Quiscon.